We had to like go to a wedding, a beautiful wedding, where we created our own metaverse, only to discover that there was another metaverse about to drop that we did not expect. Well, there it is. It happened. <laughs> it happened. It happened. I've been posting this series this morning. It's from Reddit. It's not mine, but it just fucking made me laugh, man. It made me laugh. <laughs> Cortana going on about the Azerite wounds. <laughs> oh, big news going on all over again. <clears throat> not much came out after we stopped the stream yesterday. Not much came out. It seems to be uh, it seems to be proceeding. We'll hear more about that, I imagine, in the next few months. In the next few months, this will lead us to 2023. What has been Philly's new name? Fucking Reen. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. It was a little bit of a shock. There was an exciting moment there where maybe we got to pick the name, or it wouldn't fall to Thancred to pick the name. We'll get used to it. Lease didn't work for me at first either. I mean, I read it as Lice. Which I thought was, you know, kind of on the nose to call her lice. But, you know, eventually I got used to it. You know, I adapted. It'll become the new normal. That's how it'll pass. That's how it'll become. I read it as soon as I read that. I was like, lice? <laughs> Why are we calling her lice? That's rude. That's rude. Like, Eda, I was on board with. Reen. Reen. Minfilia is such a better name. I would have just gone, I, I, I like Minfilia. I'll stick with it. But according to Ishtola, oh, no, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Did you watch the opening movie? It's different. Yes, we did. We watched it the other day. Yeah, it was cool. It's cool. I'll get used to it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. At least she's worthy of being in the team. Her stocks are already higher than original Thancred, original Eda. Stormblood Lease. Her stocks are already good. She's got a good solid basis. She's gone public. Stocks are good. Stocks are good. But I don't know where I stand with the Scions right now. I'm, I'm all over the place. I actually gave a shit yesterday that Thancred might die, which is just unheard of. That shouldn't be how it goes. I actually genuinely gave a shit that Thancred might die. <laughs> I didn't want him to die. <laughs> Mainly so he'd resolve his plot points, man. Maybe so he'd resolve his plot points. The fuck are you lot up to? Why is there a hidden area now? What's this? Oh, it's the Chocobos. Oh, right, it's the Chocobos. Okay, okay, it's the Chocobos. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I stand now. I almost don't distrust Durianja anymore. Uh, almost. 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 <laughs> almost. Almost don't distrust him. He genuinely seems to feel some regrets. I'm glad they've addressed it because Stormblood was like, eh, he's probably okay now. We'll keep him out of the way. We'll do all those things. <laughs> Is it a sermon? Uh, I think he's a timeshare salesman. He's selling Invigoron shares for the grapes. The Japanese lease is written as we would say Lisa, but the localization team decided lease weird for some weird reason. Well, Lalboard was also a thing, right? Lalboard, yeah, exactly. Sneeze gets it. Lalboard was also a thing, so we have to deal with that. At the moment, like Bex posted me a list of what she considers to be the S tier scions. In Bex's opinion which is obviously wrong because it's based in Wales, which is just insanity all by itself. But according to Bex, let's have a look. Let's, let, let's assess Bex's list real quick of how she feels about the Scions. I mean, it's clearly incorrect, right? It's massively incorrect. All right. Uriange and Alizé at the top as S tier. A tier is Tataru, Thancred, and Moonbreeder. B tier, Alfie, Kryl, Pappy, and Ish. Minfilia, C tier. Lease is D tier, and Philomene is D tier. This is just fucking so wrong. Jesus Christ. Is she considered a scion? 
Is she actually considered a scion? A good list? <laughs> You're mental. You're absolutely mental. Hold on. Let's fix this. All right. Let's fix this. Okay. A realm reborn. A tier. Alice is kind of B tier because she doesn't show up till coils. Alfie, a realm reborn is C tier. He's just a fucking idiot. This is a realm reborn. This is a realm reborn. All right. Uh, so he's not there. Philomene was there, but I mean, sure, but she's D tier. Uh, oh, close it. They're characters I don't know yet. Okay. All right. They're characters. Can I do it in a Realm Reborn one then? Hold on. Uh, no. Oh, that, that's every character. Okay. That's every character. Okay. All right. I, I put closed it. Relax. Relax. I didn't see anything. I didn't, uh, I didn't see anything bad. It's fine. You guys really do protect me. I like it. I like it. You guys have really got my back. All right. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. I can fix this. I can fix this. I can fix this. Classic. There we go. S tier. S tier. S tier or Realm Reborn. Hmm. Shit. Who did I put in? Fuck. All right. I know my A tiers. Infilia. Thancred? No. 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 Right. Fail boat. A realm reborn. Tataru. B tier is Alize. C tier. A realm reborn. Ida. Papi. Thancred. No. Thancred's even lower. In a realm reborn, Thancred was here. For sure. For sure. Uh, uh, Moon Breeder is, yeah. Moon Breeder is up there. Yeah, Moon Breeder is S tier. She's in it for like 20 minutes. She kicks ass. She takes some fucking names. Uh, Ish is S tier. Around Reborn Alphano is fucking C tier. A Realm Reborn Alphano is C tier. In A Realm Reborn, that's how it was. I don't know where Rian J lies. He just provides information, basically. He's just a MacGuffin man. So Rian J would be B tier. I've got to move Alfie back. Yeah, Alfie's lower. Yeah, for sure. Alfie's way lower. Alfie's... Uh, Alfie has the worst... I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm under no illusions. Alfie has the absolute worst introduction of any of the scions like even alizé seems disgusted that he's present in every cutscene but he, he gets some benefit towards the end because he actually starts joining in thank credit is just garbage in realm reborn tatsuru is just garbage as well for sure what did ar ish even do she's the rock she's the absolute rock from start to finish she is she's the rock Pappy was beat here Papa Limo spends most of a Realm Reborn correcting Ida for being a fucking dumbass. Like, that is 99% of his involvement in a Realm Reborn is correcting Ida's stupid fucking suggestions. Like, the second she opens her mouth, he's just like, well, that's a really stupid fucking idea, Ida. Let's not do that. Right? Let's not do that at all. So, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Alice gets beat here because... She's not in it for most of Realm Reborn, but the Coil storyline and then the uh, the finale with Alize is really, really good. That's that's a Realm Reborn. Yeah. That's a Realm Reborn. But it changes. It changes. And that's what I was saying to Noble. Like, it changes really quickly. It changes really quickly. It does. Right, so F... <laughs> F <laughs> F Uh all right so right, Uriarje drops because I mean he's the most untrustworthy motherfucker and he's fail boat yeah he's absolute fail boat Tataru fail boat 
Alfie stocks ri rose massively. Alfie stocks went up. Big time. Uh, F. Alizé moves up to S tier. For sure. F. Uh, I mean, no, he's in it, but I mean, he's he's useless, so he doesn't do anything. Yeah, these two just say C tier. They just pop in. Uh, Kryle, always S tier. Always S tier. Alfie goes up. Rianje, Tataru are down here. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Alice is just constantly fucking great. Uh, Eder and Pappy down there. Who am I missing? Anybody? Estenien? Okay, Estenien is A tier. Yeah, I mean, he's not a scion, but he moves up. He moves, he's, he's good. He's great in Heaven's Ward. He's absolutely great. He's really good. Uh, I would put a cell there as well. Yeah. Yeah, Harry Boulder. I mean, he's in the class above S tier on every single list. Oh, Thancred. Uh, Thancred is also failboat. Yeah. Thancred is also failboat. So that's how it changed for me going into Heaven's Ward. Right? Heaven's Ward did this for me. For sure. I mean, it's since the character, right? We're talking about the Scions. <laughs> I need to finish the game before it. Like, if Emmerich was here, Emmerich would be S tier as well. I, I mean, you, I, you, you guys have probably seen the YouTube video. You've probably seen the YouTube video, but, like, Heaven's Ward is Emmerich's expansion, and it was, it was dope. It was absolutely fucking dope. Like, Emmerich... I mean, Emmerich starts a Realm Reborn, like, C tier, because not only does he not want to help us, but he also needs a favor, and they played him really stoic. And nasty and then by the end of heaven's ward he's like s plus plus star blood now this is where it gets fucked up for me this is where it starts getting really fucked up for me so <laughs> this is where it, this is how it progressed for me in general right so by star blood the top list stays the same i would even then move alfie to s tier alfie came into his own in storm blood uh f f I mean, we could do, realistically, pre and post MSQ, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that because that's that's not fair. Uh, but so I'll just, this is on the end of Stormblood. This is the end of Stormblood. Lease becomes A tier by the end. The biggest mover, I absolutely fucking detest what they did with Istenian in Stormblood. I absolutely fucking detest what they did with Istenian in Stormblood. I hate it. I hate it so fucking much that they turned him into this absolute plot convenience. Yeah, it's just fucking awful what they did to him in Stormblood. I cannot stand it at all. It well pissed me off. Like, just having him randomly show up whenever it's convenient and then just disappear. <laughs> F. F. Right, we're getting kind of top heavy here. We're getting kind of top heavy. Uh, full agree. Yeah, some people might like that he does what he does in Stormblood, but I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Right, Uriad does rise a little bit to C tier because he, he just turns up in the middle of the desert with that magic dildo and he's like, hey, while you were doing your stuff, I just fixed everything, uh, which is great, right? And of course, wait, cannot be forgotten. I, I believe it's an official... I believe we, we did... Although we joined the Ironworks, official... I think that's... It became, I think in our eyes, he's an official Scion. Right? I think in our eyes, he's an official Scion. Now... <laughs> as of right now... As of right now, though... And this may change, obviously. As of right now, God, I hate this. Well, I, I can't, I can't be bullshitting.
I think Alfie's down a bit. I haven't seen him do much, really. I mean, Alfie should be lower down. He spent a year outside Yulmore and didn't get in the door. It took me five minutes. Uh... Estinian is up. We haven't seen him doing much yet. Ernirianje is up. Nobody's in the failbot category. I actually believe that as well. So far as Shadowbringers, I don't think anybody is in the failboat category. Uh, Reen, uh, I mean, Reen is probably B at the moment because, I mean, she's, she's basically a, a light sensor. She's basically a light sensor. Is it R Y N E? Reen. The Exarch fucking. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Honestly, fuck that guy. Right? Honestly, fuck that guy. I fuck that guy. <laughs> really, fuck that guy. <laughs> I can't stand him, Mr. Vagary. No, he won't tell us anything. He won't even tell us his fucking name. Fuck that guy. He can literally transport us across reflections. He can move things through time. He's got some sort of STD from somewhere. And he won't even tell us his name. And we're just like, oh, okay, we'll do whatever you want. Like, <laughs> he moved the Crystal Tower, for Christ's sake. And we haven't got any information. Oh, where's Emmett? Uh, I mean, I don't know. In terms of how much I like his character, he's A tier. But, I mean, I wouldn't trust him with a 10-foot barge, barge pull, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust him. Ardbert? I mean, he's a pervert. He's C tier. He can't even help. He's a he's a perverted ghost. Spanking it every night. Like he's not done anything yet. Like he's literally not done anything. Besides tell us how miserable he is. He hasn't. He hasn't done anything. He just wanders around. Like I feel sorry for him, but like in the way you feel sorry for like a three-legged puppy, you know? You're like, oh. But like there's not much more to it than that. You know what I mean? The man is literally dead? Exactly! So how can I rate him as a useful member of the Scions? I don't think I can. At least Edgy Salad's given us some background and history. I mean, he's got some credentials, right? If I was to look at the resumes, let's say I'm... I'm interviewing for the job of being a Scion. Edgy Salad comes in. Genocidal maniac on the one hand, but on the other hand, Asian can travel between reflections. Knows a lot about history. Right? Got good information, good solid information. Has powers which could prove useful to us. Then Ardbert walks in, through the door, is dead. Can't help. Doesn't really know much about history because he was just a warrior of light, which is basically a marine for us, right? We don't really know what the fuck's going on. We go wherever the quest tells us. Failed in his duty. His planet's destroyed. Was so useless that Minfilia didn't even want his help. And is a peeping Tom. Who am I going to hire in that situation? Right? Who am I going to hire in that situation? There you go. That's just facts. Oh, the trolley? <laughs> I mean, the trolley's up here, right? <laughs> you've got S++. Then you've got the moon. Then you've got <sighs> heaven. Then you've got heaven plus plus. Then you got the trolley. Right? In there somewhere. Right? It'd be something like that. I think that's pretty fair. But jokes aside, jokes aside. Shadowbringers has completely messed me up. It's pretty consistent up until Shadowbringers. It's relatively consistent how I felt about a lot of the Scions. Well, the biggest changes have always been Tatsuru and Thancred. Like, Tatsuru has a bit more to do. Yes, she did make a phone call. However, that is her job. Let's not forget that. That is her job. Uh, whether she deserves tips for doing her normal day-to-day -day job that she's already being paid for, we'll say. But it was a good decision, so she's moved up in the world. 
Uh, Estinian has crawled himself out of the fail boat. Yeah, it hasn't actually done much yet that we know of. Ryanjay, kind of building trust. Moved up a tier. Kind of building trust. We spent some time with him now. Not bad. Uh, actually working out pretty well. But well, Thancred has been the biggest change for me. Uh, Thancred, is, Thancred was honestly one of the worst characters as far as I was concerned for one, two, three. Three versions of the game. And now he's up to A tier. But will there be the ultimate payoff with him? I don't know. But that, that scene, I think that yesterday, that duty that you do with Thancred uh, against Ranji was one of the most well put together solo experiences I've seen in an MMO. Like, as a solo story experience, that was really good. Like, so much better than what they did with Xenos. You could feel him failing. That was great. Although, obviously, you're going to win. If you suspend that gamer knowledge, it, they did it so well where you genuinely feel like maybe he's going to lose here. You you had that doubt in your mind that maybe he's going to die here. This could be the end. And it makes sense now why they built Ranji up to be such a badass. Um, through all the beginning of the game was leading to that point. Where it's like, okay, Thancred, because they, you need to instill in the player, Thancred can't win. That was what they were doing. They were putting it into your mind as Thancred cannot win this fight. But you will try and you will do what you can do. Uh, I think it worked off. I think it paid off really, really well. Uh, I, I like that. I liked everything they did with that. Yeah, Xenos is really terrible in his solo instances. He's awful because you could never lose to him. Uh, and he never felt like you were trying. He just walks slowly. Like you just move and you like you've outplayed him, right? <laughs> you just move slightly and you've outplayed him, uh, which is a real shame because now they've shown this is a great contrast of how you do these scenes correctly. Because, and it needs the story build up. Without Ranjit's story build up, it would have been nowhere near as fun. But the way they build it up is you had the doubt Bankred might die here because he shouldn't be able to win based on everything you know. But you can put it down to he, he you know, from Infilia. Marine, he, he did everything. It was good. Yeah, I think they probably learned, which I've said time and time and time and time and time again is Squeenix's number one ability to shit all over Micro Activision Blizzard Bethesda. They respond really quickly to player feedback. They respond so quickly and improve. Improve. That's the important thing. They don't just change shit for the sake of changing shit. If it's working like the dungeon design, which they nailed in Stormblood, they fucking nailed the dungeon design. In Shadowbringers, it's just the same because it works. It's fine. It just works. So they just kept it like that. What didn't we like? Didn't like the way I, I mean, I assume other people felt the same as me. Xenos was kind of a bitch. <laughs> he was supposed to be the big thickness. He had the thighs of power, but you kind of just fucking ruffle stomp him every time you talk to him. Uh, it's not fun. So they fixed it. They changed it. All good. So that's where we stand as of right now. Uh, <laughs> whether or not... I'll save this. <laughs> I'll save this and see if this changes by the end of Shadowbringers. Save. Scion tier list. There we go. I don't want to save it on Dropbox, though. That would be stupid. All right, I'll save that and we'll return to that at the end of Shadowbringers to see whether it's changed. We'll save our little notepad. That'll work well. That'll work well. Been able to do... Oh, sorry, I missed that. <laughs> Been able to do duties to different characters. Really up a lot of possibilities. Especially in terms of power levels. Especially in terms of power levels. It was a really good idea. I mean, it kind of disappointed me that Ishtola was not exactly strong. <laughs> strong. Uh, in the other days. Rain! Can I just say, Rain and Arms, I'm really sorry I missed the last cutscene uh, at your wedding yesterday. It was just such unfortunate timing. It was just such unfortunate timing. I'm really sorry. Uh, but the wedding was fantastic. We all had a blast. It was just sucks we missed the last cutscene, that's all. We got all the pictures, we got everything. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's not mad. She said I wasn't allowed to touch her, so I'm not going to... I was just crying. Run away. <laughs> Male instinct kicking in. Run away. <laughs> Run away. She's crying. She's crying. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Run away. Get out of here. Get away from it. <laughs> Let's go to the saucer. Let's go. Pat on head. Yeah, I assume that's an animation thing, right? Pat on head. Oh, someone said it was a cultural thing. 
The pattern head is strange, though. Okay, let's change our shit here real quick. There we go. It's a cultural thing in Japan. Yeah. I mean, I do want to visit Japan. Oh, cliffhanger? Sure. Let's do that. Uh, there's no cuddles in Shadowbringers. It's a Japan thing. Shame. I love cuddles. Cuddles forever. Shame. Uh, I want you both to start the day. Oh, you started 3 a.m. my time. Oh, awesome, man. I'd love to catch you live. It's still fantastic. Oh, thank you very much, man. And I'm glad you've got that for you. VOD watchers. Awesome, dudes. I do see, like, how many views those VODs get. It's, uh, it's pretty incredible. And you guys know when to skip ahead, right? Oh, he's at the saucer. Skip. Oh, no! I actually failed cliffhanger. That's a fucking sadness. I shouldn't talk to you guys when I'm doing this stuff. Even if it's super basic, I'm gonna fail. We did it again yesterday, by the way. We hosted Zeppler. Yes. And uh, she was AFK. Rude. Rude. I'm gonna start checking streams before we host them. I'm gonna start checking. I felt bad though, because there was like 7,000 people we sent over there, right? And then by the time she got back, it was down to like five. Because everyone tuned in and were like, oh, she's not even here, and just left. It's like, oh, that sucks. What is wrong with me today? Holy shit, I've got something wrong with me. This is the stocks. This is Shadowbringers. I did almost cry yesterday. That's not even an exaggeration. I started getting choked up, which is uh, not like me at all. Oh, I actually failed. Wow. I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, the time ran out. All right. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, yes. Let's go this way. Woohoo. I think I, f I genuinely feel I felt more emotional about um, Fancred than saying goodbye to Minfilia. It was a lovely send-off, though, for Minfilia. That was really, really nice. I wish they could do something similar with the sale. I think she got one of the, the dirtiest send-offs. Really. I really wish they could do something better. Is it Slice? Anyway, the wind blows. Is that the RNG one? Is that the RNG one? It is? Okay. <laughs> it's time. I want one victory. That's all I want is one victory. That's all I want. I want one victory at Cliffhanger. <laughs> Give it me. I want one. Get online. I want everybody there. Pick your team. If you've got work, it'll have to wait. The unknown one, two, three at the bottom. Nope. 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 Seven, eight, nine. I feel I've been through it, but that's, that's it. I'm just going to go paint the office today. I'm clearly not. It's not my day, is it? Yeah. It's not my day. It's not my day. Yeah. It's, it's not, man. It's clearly not my day. Let's go see what this mail is real quick that's all folks yeah i think it's time we took a day <laughs> take a day i'm gonna go paint it'll be fine it'll be fine we'll start again tomorrow uh the janya wanted me to send you this it didn't say why i assume it's because looking at your mog is what made ish go blind so enjoy they already made it yellow that's really rude that is, like, really rude. That is super rude. Which one was it? Actually, not bad! Actually, not bad.
Hey, I'll take that. That's all right, that. Approved. Yeah, I'll take it. Actually, you know, mm, I missed my Heaven's Ward coat. We had it on yesterday when we were doing the glam, but uh, I do miss my Heaven's Ward coat. It was good, that one. It looks like semi-military. Oh, God, Nups is logged online. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, mate. No, man. <laughs> Nobody go with Team Nups. Team Nups is a bad team. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't vote with Team Nups. Bad stocks. Oh, shit. There's loads of you. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Better stretch up, team. <sighs> Get ready to sit on the floor. Oh my god, Yodel von Stegosaurus. <laughs> I hope I said that. Yodel von Stegosaurus, thank you for five subs, man. Money shot, thank you for the six months. Thank you so much for that generosity. Onimush is at 5,000 bits. Holy fuck, man. I love these streams. You and the team are champs. Uh, I mean, we try. We try. We, we hope to have fun every day. Simple goal. <laughs> it's a pretty simple goal, but not always that easy. Uh, we're trying not to ruin things for you. Oh, and I saw the tier list. Yeah, I don't think I can get a proper one, but I mean, the, the notepad did fine. I did see there's one of every single character, like FF14 characters tier list. I'm not going to open it, but there is one with every character in the game, <laughs> which is fucking nuts. Uh, uh, that's, that's like a hundred people on this list. <sighs> At the end, at the end, in the future. At the end. Was it, I'm kind of curious though for you guys, did your opinion of the characters change as dramatically as mine did throughout the expansions? Because everyone seems to universally love like Tataru or whatever. Did it not change as dramatically? Everyone, who was your dramatic change? Like the one character, just go like, uh, who was bottom to top? Like Urianjay? Fail to S or anyone, whoever. Bankred, Lease. Lease is a big one. Yeah, Lease is a big one. Alfie. Alfie, I imagine, because I kind of feel like Alfie was maybe hated in A Realm Reborn. <laughs> I, I would imagine. He was kind of hated. Alfie. Bankred. Yeah, Uriange. Uriange, got, uh, Uriange gets better the more time you spend with him. Like, the more time you spend with Uriange, the better a character he is. He's, he's always sidelined. I mean, he's not quite benched, but he is sidelined a lot in the main story. Maybe they thought he was a bit off-putting with the way they did his dialogue. Least from the Abyss to Failboat. I mean, Least, Least is A-tier for me now. They really matured the shit out of her. Post-MSQ. They really grew her up a bit. Because you... It always bothered me when they did the the change from Edith to Lise, like that Lise didn't know anything. I mean, she's there during the Calamity. Like, she's taking part in assisting uh, Luz Sox. She's done a lot. She's been around the Scions for a lot of decision-making and stuff, and then they turned her into this, like, useless pudding person. You couldn't do anything or figure anything out, but she's literally been surrounded by this for years at this point. It was a really weird thing. He doesn't know anything, though. She does. You can't be around that all the time and be like, I don't know anything. I, I, unless she's utterly, utterly useless, in which case she shouldn't be a scion anyway and certainly shouldn't be leading the resistance or anything. But she does do well. It was too far of a departure from what is reasonable, in my opinion. That was all. Papi and Ida was comic relief. I guess, but it still doesn't change the fact that she was there. Uh, have you ever had a, an RSI had one of my keyboard hand? No. No, I haven't, actually. Um... Yeah, no. No, I haven't. I've been lucky on that one, I guess. I assume I'm going to need glasses at some point. I try to keep my monitors kind of far away from me, but so far, gaming, no gaming issues so far. Yeah, at least got really good. By the end of Stormblood, at least is rock and roll. He's with the size to keep us safe. Yeah, but she's still there, and she's still, like, summoning ether and things like that. She's still doing all that. At least in the cutscene, she is. Gamer wounds. Yeah, I would totally get gamer wounds. Gamer wounds. I, have, I I don't think I've suffered a gamer wound. Although I genuinely live in fear of breaking my hand and not being able to use a mouse. That would fuck me up <laughs> for work for a kind of a long time. 
That would fuck me up. I could probably get away without being able to use a keyboard effectively, but if I like broke my mouse hand, that would suck. That would suck. We'd have to play some of their voice commanded games where you tell, tell the character what to do with the microphone and it kind of responds. I think they were like PS1 era. We'd have to play some, some of those. <laughs> like Lifeline. Yeah, we'd have to play some shit like that. See if we can get, see if we can get some magic happening. <laughs> I just watched your chat with Noah. I wanted to say, you know, Ed's story considers in Powers of the Dead. I do know that. It is on the schedule of things to do. Yes. Yes, I do know that. I, I actually, there's several things in my discussion with Noble I don't mention because I don't think he knows. Uh, I mean, it was, it was the smile. It was me being smile, please. It was me being smile, please. I do know where Ed's story continues and things. I haven't done it myself, but I do know. But I also don't want to spoil anything for Noble, right? So I was being my, I was being the, my own smile, please. Just to manage, manage expect. I just want to manage his expectations a little bit. But I, I'm going all out in the Heaven's Ward talk. I swear to God, if he does not appreciate that story, he's dead to me. Absolutely dead to me, I tell you. Did it double do past the dead? I don't know. He didn't bring it up to me, though. He didn't mention it to me, so I kind of left it there. I mean, again, we're feeling he might be doing the same for me, where he doesn't want to spoil things for me, right? So maybe we need to... Uh, it's hard to figure out because obviously he streams kind of at the same time I do. He starts a bit later in the day, but I don't know exactly what he's done or anything. <laughs> I don't know what he's done. Do you like my little Bex peep mug? What, have you made a shepherd or something? Morpheus would never behave this way. All right, it's time. Here we go. One win. I did not miss the wedding arms. Don't say I missed it. I missed the last cutscene. I'm there for everything. Oh, don't make it out like I didn't attend. That's not fair. I did not miss the wedding. Uh... No, I'm, I'm swapping sides. I'm not comfortable on that side. I'm coming over here. Here's my place. This is my place. This is my place. This is my place. Bad spot. This should be fine. We should be on the edge of the outer ring. I think this is okay. I think this is fine. You're, ma you're making it worse, okay? <clears throat> Today is my day. It is. Who's where? Team Ross, you guys are all dead. Where's Nups at? Oh, oh why is everybody with Team Nups? You guys are such assholes. Why is there like 20 people with nups? You actual scum. You actual scum. This is treachery, you know that, right? I'm the captain of this ship. This is it. It's happening. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nups. He still lives. Nups still lives. No way. Is this my day? Come on, baby! <laughs> you only get seven and a half K for that? Are you trolling? You only get 
seven and a half K for winning that? That is BS. That is utter BS. That is such BS. You should get like 50,000 for winning that. What a crock. And Nup's won as well. Nup's won as well. 7.5k for surviving utterly random nonsense is not enough. It should be way more than that. But we brought home the victory. That's what matters. I need... I want a one-on-one. -on -one. That's what I want. I want a one-on-one -on -one with the Burger King. Why are you dressed as the Burger King? The fuck? You would as well? <laughs> I spit on you all. I spit on you all. <laughs> There's science logic. Wait, has Mike researched this? Hold on. Where the wind blows. Has Mike's done his homework, hasn't he? He's done homework. Is there a south a safe spot? Tips and tricks. There are better spots. I knew you'd done your homework. I knew you cheated. I knew it. Can't, can't, why don't, can't you have a genuine experience, Mike? Right. Must it all be min-maxed? Must it? Must you bring your wow toxicity over here? Can't we just enjoy the experience? Hmm? Can't we just enjoy what we're doing? As friends. Shaking my damn knees, man. Uh, we have a dungeon to do. Hang on, I need to remind myself. What were we doing? Oh, we've got a light warden to kill, don't we? That's where we got to. Oh shit, we got to the light warden, but at the exact wedding time. Awesome, all right, drink time and then we're off and we'll get a dungeon going. Sick, dungeon time, baby.
Big day. Zaconix, welcome, brother. Bye, well, thank you for the bits. I just watched your chat with Double. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. I got that before. Thank you, dude. Inf oh, okay, 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 okay. Inviting, inviting. Is that Bex who wanted an invite? Oh, it's lying. I'm scrolling. Too many asks. Any askers? There we go. All right. All right, team. Let's kill a light one. Uh, can anyone tank? Do you tank line? As he's tank. Oh, do we have a healer then? Cool. Line can heal. All right, was good. We're awesome. I need to get more rolls, don't I? All right, we're getting to that point. I need more rolls. I need to be able to jump in and do whatever. Let's go. Right, we've got a relatively free day. I've got a team meeting this afternoon, and then I am painting the office tonight. So we're good till late this afternoon, guys. We are rock solid, MSQ-wise. This looks creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> Critters! Actual critters! This place is eerie. Is there going to be a spooky ghost in here? Mayhaps? I do like eerie atmospheres. This is good. This is a good start. Pyro, brother, man. We need to sit down with Noble and stuff and go over the story with you. I would love to do that, Pyro. I know we've never had a chance to sit and chat, but I mean, we both know what's up. I think the, I think the uh, audience would appreciate that, wouldn't they? I think they would. This place is fucking awesome. Now we just gotta wait for that noob. Where are you up to in the story, Pyro? Or any Noahs? Are you ahead of me? Are you still taking notes? You beat 5.0. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yes and yes. Okay. Yes and yes. Awesome. I just had the... Uh, I, I finally got to say goodbye to Minfilia yesterday. <laughs> Which uh, it nearly, actually genuinely chokes me up. Which I was not expecting. I was not expecting. I've yet to cry, but the chat assures me there's more that's coming that's going to fuck me up. I don't like it if I get choked up, though, because you guys are all laughing at me. <laughs> Look at him, pussy. <laughs> Look at him, pussy. <laughs> Gotta be a man. A swoon. We're fighting an armadillo? This seems kind of cruel. What's going on out there? Dude! Don't drop things on me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what? Maybe it's time we had a role change. <laughs> Maybe it's time we had a I'm too obsessed with what's going on out there. There's something cool happening out there. And I want to know what it is. the black mage life uh, i mean it's greed life you guys better help me oh no no don't worry don't worry i'll look around on my old time i don't want to slow the dungeon down it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine it's fine don't worry about me i'll figure it out look see i know what i'm doing a very good MMO player. I have killed many bosses with many HPs. Uh. Oh, I mean, nuke the boss, right? Cowards. Gamba? <laughs> I'm not gambling, though. Oh, see, I've got to finish that cast. I'm not not finishing the cast. That's nuts. That's cowardly. I can squeeze it in. Believe, believe. What the hell is going on over here? Can I jump down here? No. Oh, mine shaft. So something lurks below the surface, right? Something is buried in here. What is this? Could this be Leonine? Or are we going to fight a radioactive spider? This feels like a good opportunity for a spider. Oh, look at this guy! What a chat! Give him the old slimy hands. <laughs> you don't. You know what? The UI in this game is so bad. You don't appreciate these models unless you turn the UI off. It sucks. <laughs> That's so good. It's true. All this, all this crap is so garbage. You like the UI, really? It's, it feels like 1930s uh, PlayStation UI to me. If I could play the UI-less, I would. Yes, I know it's a model from an old FF game. We're going to play them. We're playing the old FF games. We're playing them. I don't give a fuck if no one watches. I want to know. Uh, still the best model in the game so far is these 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 ground guys. Oh, look at all these old Talos, man! Kill me, put an end to my misery. End me. Feels bad, man. We should get connected on Discord. Yeah, Bex, could you sort that out for us? Just pass my Discord on to Pyro. That would be great if you could, Bex. We'll get it squared up. Oh, I'm missing out on stuff. I'll check that later. Oh, we're in Pyro for sure, man. We're in. I could talk about the FF story all day at this point. Although I just did my Scion rating list and uh, I don't know, maybe I've annoyed somebody. <laughs> Pancred stocks are rising. That's all that matters. Invest your stocks now. Somebody, some people. I mean, I'm, I'm justified in my opinion, okay? This is justification. The Royal Cupbearer. That's an interesting name. The Royal Cupbearer. Oh, so many lost Talos's. 
Ha! <laughs> Bucket hands! <laughs> An amphibious tal- Oh, because he floats because of his bucket hands? <laughs> He's amphibious. <laughs> That's genius. <laughs> That's genius. He's amphibious because of the old bucket hands. That is absolutely genius. Right, I'm going to get a full root of power off here. Ah, we will not be moved. We will not be moved. Uh, swift spill. Oh no, okay, I see it, I see it. Ooh, we're in a circle. Okay, we got moved, but it is what it is. It definitely won't do like two rotations, right? Nice. It's all good, it's all good. Oh, when will Foul become instant cast for me? And Walker, probably. I'm just a later dungeon. <laughs> fine, it's fine. Yeah, I'm already level 80 something. Pumping, pumping, pumping the reach. Uh, this is not going to last till another rune, is it? No, it's not. Let's pump. Let's pump. Let's pump. Be the gamer we were always meant to be. I kind of wish he threw buckets at you or something. Bye, bucket hands. Oh, there's markings on the wall. Oh, no, are they crystal? What is... Snowflakes? Snowflake monster? Forgiven bribery. All right, we're going to blast this pack. Into the flare. Another flare. Mm, juicy. I mean, it's cool that the Sin Eaters all have those kind of names. Although we still haven't quite confirmed whether Yulmore is eating Sin Eater shit, but I think they are. <laughs> My confidence levels that Yulmore's people are eating Sin Eater shit is very high. I'm not gambling on it, no, man. I'm not gambling on it. But I'm pretty sure they're balls deep in Silent Green. I mean, look at that change, man. They nailed this dungeon shit. Getting cold. Getting very cold. I thought it was webbing, but it's not. Look, crystals. Do Sin Eater shit? If Lord, Lord Varthry doesn't take a shit, I will be amazed. I will be amazed if that fella isn't producing some poundage every morning. There is zero chance that guy is pumping the toilet. I mean, that guy is... That is a mythic experience. That guy is bathroom savage. You, you know what I'm saying, don't you? 
the shitter ultimate. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm still convinced he's a light warden. That is our current gamba. I'll happily place another bet after that, but that's my current gamba that he's the light warden. I want to know what that baby is that's under his left breast. There's a there's a cine a baby like popping out of his ribs. Smile, is this you guys? What an interesting model for the Light Warden. Oh, you've already started. Coming. Oh, should not have pressed that. Ah! Ah! Little bit of box of death. It's fine. Not fine. Fine, maybe. Breaking the wheel. Daenerys? Okay, I did that wrong. Well, I did stay in my route of power, so... I'm the real winner. Crystal Nail. We have to hide behind these. Now, the next mechanic is going to make us move out, right? You don't drag people in unless you intend to make them move away. Okay, that's simple enough. Is this an order? It is. Finish the cast, Mike. Commit. Finish the cast, lad. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, intestinal crank? Rough. Fine. As long as I don't get hit, vulnerability stacks don't do anything. Rune's back. All right, we're pumping, we're pumping, we're committing. It's not going to make us move. It's not going to make us move. All right, he's got a fork. What's this fork, dude? Spicy. Uh oh. All right, wait till the other one goes. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're golden. We're golden. We're golden. We're golden. Bring back the night time, baby. Bring back the night time. Come on now. Ooh, night time. Ranjit gonna be pissed. Is this where I go? I'm still convinced we're gonna absorb so much light we turn into an A-bomb and it's it's gonna be bad. I wonder if they'd have the stones for us to actually like accidentally commit genocide. Like suppose we absorb so much light, maybe when we do the Yulmore Light Warden, that we destroy Yulmore and kill everybody inside it. 
which in many ways would actually be fine because those guys want to die so i mean you could look at it as a positive we'll call it ascension they love a bit of ascension those guys Oh no, I'm getting sick. Uh oh. Yeah, I see. Going badly. No victory music. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Juicy work, squad. Juicy work. Floor is nice and clean. Excellent. Can't talk to the NPCs, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Lovely made outfit, Braggart. I just gotta say, this is. <laughs> you are kind of the RP master. You really are. You really are. You, you're doing some good work there, son. <laughs> You never expect to be in a team with Morpheus, the maid, and, uh... I mean, I don't know what you're supposed to be lying, I'll, I'll be honest. But if I could give you all a plus, I would. Dude! Totally killed the Light Warden. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad those travelers made it all the way to Nabatha Reng. But when Urianje told me the Talos was in pieces and the trolley didn't look much better, I couldn't help wondering what in the hells had gone on. The trolley will be fine. What indeed. At least the heart is in one piece. The rest is replaceable. Looking at this mess, though, it's a miracle they survived. <laughs> you can say that again. What? What the? Are you seeing this? That was me. There's still no word on whether it's receding, though. The sky. It's... It... No way, you still not turned. No fucking way. We had the poison all prepared. At last, night has returned to Amarang. Thanks, bud. Thanks, mate. We'll save this broken world yet, Tesleen. You see if we don't. The post guy knows I'm not going to come if it's a cutscene. He's just leaving shit on the doorstep now. No doubt retreating in the wake of the Warden's demise. Back to Calusia, the last refuge of light. Home to our dear Lord Vorthry, who will no doubt do everything in his power to thwart us. Maybe watch well his phone. Should, for defeat there would spell the end for both him and his heavenly host. There, the fate of this star shall be decided. Are we approaching the final battle? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It's still a zone we haven't been to, right? 
checking that is. There's absolutely a zone we've not been to yet. Hmm. 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 Thinking. Thinking. Ideas. Machinations. We did it. We really did it. I only wish there was time to visit the inn. We can but hope the return of the night has granted the residents some shred of comfort. They thought the world beyond changing, but today, I think we proved them wrong. We will fix this broken land floor together. That's flying, baby! <clears throat> you feeling all right, Floor? After you defeated the Light Warden, I could swear I saw its ether. Yeah. That tummy ache. Uh, never mind. I still get used to my powers. It's probably nothing. I'm just relieved I was right about where the Warden was hiding. The last one is hiding in Kalooza, isn't it? I can't feel it from here, believe it or not. Perhaps we should head back to Crystarium first. We have a lot to tell the Exarch. I think we could do all with some rest. Time for our little uh, one-to-one -one with the pervert, is it? <sighs> she sees it too, then. Ish is getting very passive-aggressive. Isn't she? We've got a passive-aggressive Ish. Demoted. Demoted. I know she cares. I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Relax. Relax. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Cursed list. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. I'm sorry. I have to get the door. Come in. No hate and no anger. No good. Vicky, welcome! Thank you very much for the Prime. Hydro, thank you as well. Trevor, I appreciate you taking the chance to for 14. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. More than happy I did. The others are with the Exarch. Before we join them, there is something I wish to confirm. All right, here, she's stocks are in the balance here. Invest, sell. Tell me, Reen, have you noticed anything peculiar about Flo's appearance of late? Anything at all? Speak freely. She won't mind. 
Bold presumption. Well, this would fully bequeath her power to me. I've been able to see the light inside her, though I didn't think anything of it at first, but after we defeated the Warden in our meringue, I realized something was wrong. You've absorbed its ether flow, and the light within you has grown monstrous. And it is as I suspected. How are you feeling? Eh, hungry. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. Not is done. This will only get worse. Reen, with the power of the Oracle, you have gained some measure of control over Light, have you not? Is there anything you could do for her? Distinguishing it is out of the question. Even at her strongest, Minfilia could only hold back the Light. I might be able to suppress it, but I don't know for how long. I have no choice but to rely on Orianja and his secrets. You do be like that. If the next battle is to be the last, you may yet be able to play your part, but you will need all of your strength. Now discuss strategy with the others and see that everything is made ready for our departure. You are to return to your chambers and rest until then, understood? Yeah. Okay. Bedtime. Good. Whether you want it or not, you have most certainly earned some respite. I'm not saying yes, mother. Creepers, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? The stocks are down. I'm not saying yes, mother. Wait, what, what's going on? Best line. <laughs> Best line of the whole game. Experience is ruined. You missed it. That's it. It's over now. <laughs> he threatens to spank you. Again, I don't know where you guys' heads at. I don't. That's not what I want. There's nothing sexual going on here. You understand that, right? There's no spanking happening. You feel me? Is everything all right, miss? You don't seem quite yourself. Perhaps a hot meal and a freshly made bed will improve matters. Your room is ready if you care to retire. Very good. If you should have need of anything, anything at all, pray. Do not hesitate to call. All right, Albert. What's happening, pal? Got another fun story for me. Why did you stay behind? Are you doing fuck, marry, kill with an underage girl? Hmm. And sometimes the dead would rather not be disturbed. But enough about me. What of armor? Oh. Sorry. I see. Minfilia's gone then. Yeah. There's a good send off. Which means the reason I must suffer this purgatory shall forever remain a mystery. Ooh, theory. We're going to give him our light. What's the matter? Are you all right? just happened and makes him the warrior of light there's something Minfilia said to me yes let's tell her let's tell him mm. 
Minfilia said my time had not yet come. That I still had a role to play. Not even the most valiant heroes can stand alone. No. No, it couldn't be. There's only one hero in this room, and it is not me. I'm just a shadow, cursed to wander. How's it edgy salad? <sighs> He's got to absorb our light and be set free. Oh no. Maybe? <clears throat> Forgive the intrusion, but Minfilia, that is, Reen, and the others were asking after you. Is everything all right? That pain again. And did it pass? Thank goodness for that. I would not wish to see you suffer. Who are you? Though I know only too well how much you have suffered on our behalf in recent days. Indeed, I have no right to impose upon you further. Nevertheless, I must ask one thing of you. That you survive this, no matter what. <laughs> when Promise the dust me settles, never die. you must return to your world. For the battles to come, and the wars yet unwon. The final Light Warden is all that stands between us and victory. There is still much we must do to prepare. But for now, I will see if there is aught that may remedy the strange affliction which plagues you. Not that strange. You're absorbing light constantly. You know, the thing that burned your world. <clears throat> yes, I believe it will. Once the tyranny of light is ended, the people of the Crystarium will be safe, and the future that must be shall come to pass. I'll not keep you from your rest any longer. Take as much time as you like. Mm, still got so much to answer for, man. God, what now? Meanwhile? Oh, we're echoing. Oh, this isn't right. It would need to be later. After the liberation of Alamigo, perhaps. Oh, this is him figuring out which time to pull us out. Okay. Please tell me you're finished. We have to go. They'll be on us any moment. Very well. Where to next, then? Let's just worry about getting out of the city and pray the airships are still in one piece. Anywhere we go from here, we'll just be more of the same. Where are we? Oh, just by the sound of that last one, I reckon the Knights 12 might be the Knights Rubble by now. We're in Ishgard! The Exarch Horshafon or something? That makes no sense. You have no power. There's nothing else we can do. Do look around you. 
This isn't war. It's a sickness, and it spreads to every corner of Eorzea. The city-states are in disarray, and by all accounts, the Far East faring no better. There'll be nothing left to us when this is over. This is the future. I hate this cutscene. Ah! Oh! Is it that boy? Hemorrhoid? What was he called? Fuck! On war? On a war? Something like that. This world is beyond saving. But he had no power either. Unless he used the Magitech machine that Xenos used. And that only grants you the yeah. ah! Fucking cutscene, shut up! Never tire of that story. And the hero swoops in astride a white dragon to save the little girl. I could die happy knowing someone like that was still around. Indeed, not today. Not while our message remains undelivered. It's from Ishgard. Of faith, my friend. We will find her. Oh, that's annoyed me. That's annoyed me a lot. That's really fucked me off. Okay. Let's process this a little bit. Unless Pervy's here. Alright, so... That was the... My guess is that was the future. That is the collapse of Eorzea, the Far East. Everything's destroyed. GG's game over. The Black Rose has been used by the Garleans. It's all bad. Somebody in Ishgard who was there during the end of the Dragonsong War is searching out us like we're Doctor Who. Somebody who is about the age of the Exarch now, which for me points to a young child who was during the Dragonsong War, which only leads me to Hemorrhoid. That's my guess. That's my guess. That's my guess. Gamba? <laughs> no, man. <laughs> you only say that if I'm wrong. Like, you guys are so bad at this. You only say that if I'm incorrect. All I have to say, no, 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 gamba, gamba, gamba. Hot sauce, onion, pizza. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Rid of Strider, thank you for the three months. <sighs> no idea why. Lucky Show, thank you very much. Nil over the gift and sub, and Lefty, thank you very much. Thank you all. Not always? Okay. You guys are about as trustworthy as Zurianje. Return to Yulmore. Okay, okay, okay. Look at the name of your friend request. Mouth urinal. That's magnificent. That's magnificent. Well done. Well done. Well done. 
I can't even find you in the list to get rid of you. There you are. Decline. Get out of here. Okay. Ah, Mistress Inspector. I trust you had a pleasant rest. While you were esconded in your chamber, a message arrived for you from the Exarch. He bids you come to the Ocular at your earliest convenience. Madam, wherever your duties may take you next, I shall pray for your safe return. May the night keep you. Nicest guy in the world, the, the hotel here. Stop friend requesting me, man. I don't want the sad face on my character all day. Stop it. I heard this song before. I don't remember this. The night theme. I don't remember hearing this before. Lovely voice. Okay. All right, Exarch. Answers, buddy. Come on. Oh, is it hemorrhoid under that hood? Oh, he's happy to see me. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. There you are. May I assume you've had your fill of rest? Is well. Now that we are all present, let us speak of our plan. Thus far, we have vanquished four light wars, restoring night to much of Norvrat. Yeah. Only one remains, that of Colusia, and with Reen to guide us, I am certain we will find it. Not us. We're so close now. If we can just take care of this one last warden, we'll rob the Sin Eaters of their final foothold and drive them out of Norvrant once and for all. It will be a new beginning for the first. A chance for the people to rebuild their world. In short, a prize worth fighting for. And in thus delivering the first from destruction, so too shall we unsow the seeds of the eighth umbral calamity. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do you hear? Your dreams of rejoining is in jeopardy. Are you sure you're not tempted to intervene? <sighs> you labor under the misapprehension that vanquishing the Sin Eaters is tantamount to saving the world. It is not. Interesting. In truth, you only delay the inevitable, lengthening your fleeting lives by the smallest of margins. We're going to cause the Eighth Umbral Calamity. It would be churlish of me to deny you this small concession, close as we've become. Foolish and misguided though you are, you are not without charm. Each and every one of you is possessed of a noble heart. When the weak want for succor, you do not hesitate to provide it. Alas, your nobility is short-sighted. You think only of the problem in front of your nose. A limitation of your ephemeral existence. Our lives may seem short and insignificant to the likes of you, but one does not need to be an eternal being to achieve lasting change. Tell him, Alfie. Uh, if I may stop you there, I do not claim that we Asians are special. That is another misconception. In the beginning, everyone, everyone lived nigh for eternity. Such was the natural order of things. But like so much else, this was taken from you. 
Sounds horrible. You won't object if I borrow your plaything. In the distant past, when the world was one and whole, a great calamity threatened all life. It began without warning. The very laws of the star were warped and broken and chaos swiftly spread throughout the land. Faced with annihilation, we sought to imbue the star with its own will. Thus was Zodiac born, and by his power was order restored. Ere long, however, thankless fools began to fear that Zodiac's might was too great and so they conjured another to keep him in check. Your own dear Hyde. And the two beings waged war until, with a single devastating blow, Hydaelyn unmade Zodiac, scattering his being across space and time. So you told us in the Katana Ravel. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and there began our woes, with Hydaelyn's blow and all that it wrought. As a counterbalance to Zodiac, Hydaelyn was created with the power to enervate her foe. This singular ability strikes not at such banal things as flesh, but everything that defines the target, diluting its existence. For example, was she to strike you? Two individuals, identical in appearance yet reduced in all respects, strength, intelligence, the soul itself, all is halved. Quick math, quick math, okay. Do you see? This self-same fate befell not only Zodiac, but the very star. The Zodiac exists in all the reflections still, but a weak version. Only three were fortunate enough to escape the Sundering, me being one of them. When I beheld the shattered remnants of our home, I knew deepest despair. The inhabitants of these 14 fragments were feeble, frail and foolish, oblivious to their imperfection, ignorant of their past. Malformed creatures thrashing blindly about, pitiful, disturbing, depressing. So, we took it upon ourselves to rejoin the worlds. But in our eagerness and, I confess, our ignorance, we erred and made a useless void of the thirteenth. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it was only afterwards <clears throat> that we discovered a connection twixt source and shard, a flow of energy that maintains elemental balance. And thus did we arrive at our time-honored modus operandi. From a purely Asian standpoint, it could be said that what you seek to do is only logical. But that would be to ignore the immeasurable destruction wrought with each rejoining. You have murdered millions, and this we cannot condone. By your fragmented existence, you continue to give rise to tragedies far crueler than any calamity. Bullshit. 
but yes. Moral relativism and all that. Case in point, I do not consider you to be truly alive, ergo, I will not be guilty of murder if I kill you. Got a point? The horrible, evil point, but it's a point. Oh, don't look at me like that. You, for whom I have only the highest expectations. A vaunted hero of the source, seven times rejoined. Long have I awaited one who might brave a path of lesser tragedy. A resilient soul able to endure the necessary pain. I dare to hope that my wait is over. Motherfucker is Thanos. So, finish your task and slay the Light Warden. Make proof of your usefulness. And then we may speak again. Forgive me, my lord, but this could not wait. Speak freely, Captain. Our informant in Colusia sends word of unusual activity in Yulmor. It appears their forces are entrenching themselves at key points throughout the city, making ready for an attack by all indications. An intriguing use of resources. I rather doubt Lord Valtry is concerned for the safety of his citizens. You think he's harboring the Light Warden inside the city walls? In his belly! Even if he does have some means of controlling the Sin Eaters, wouldn't that be a little risky? Risky or not, if there is even a chance the Warden is hiding there, we will need to act fast. The longer we wait, the better prepared the Yulmorans will be. Agreed. See to your preparations then and make for Colusia. God's willing, this hunt will be the last. Let us see it through to the end. Hmm. Am I pro or anti rejoining? We should begin by assembling in right. Hmm. There we may assess the situation in Yulmor and decide how best to proceed. Isn't it nice when morally grey is done correctly? Because <laughs> it really makes you think. <laughs> it really makes you think. <laughs> it really makes you think. <sighs> the thing I always come back to... So, is that... I can buy into the idea because, I mean, recent years certainly have pointed to this, that... No matter how good things are, and if things were perfect, such as when Zodiac reigned, and it was the, you know, utopic society that Emmett Selk says it is, why did the people summon enough ether to form Hydaelyn in the first place? Right? And we talked about this the other day, that perhaps Emmett and co were the Lord Vorthries of the Zodiac era when it was one place. So they basically ruled... And they would really like to have that power back and rule over everybody. On the other hand, perhaps it was really fucking good. Everybody lived forever. Everybody had good power. Everything was good. You know, we had strawberries year round. It was a really awesome time to be alive, honestly. And then uh, Hydling comes along and dilutes all their power, dilutes everything. Ruins everything they had. But at the same time, that's entirely possible. But at the same time, they are genocidal. Now, they may be acting under the belief that, yeah, I mean, we are killing you here, but at the same time, you rejoin in and, you know, you're getting better as a result. So, in fact, we're, we're doing you a favor with the murder. <laughs> I will talk to Emmett, but I'm thinking right now. I don't know. I, 
I like the idea that maybe we're the baddies. But, I mean, my over my overall thought is that he's only here doing all this because we're doing exactly what he wants us to do. And that is, he knows oh, he's you know, what he wants to happen. Because obviously we're not going to die because there's another expansion. Um, that, but us absorbing all the light leads exactly to the calamity that we think we're forestalling. And therefore he's like, go ahead. Go and do it. I'll even be Mr. Helpful. I'll even fill in some blanks for you. I'll even give you some little tidbits of information. I'll, you know, I am nice guy. I'm, I'm really here to help you, but you're doing exactly what I want you to do. Very similar to how Xenos was, where Xenos was like, oh, really? This is happening. Okay, that's great. So, uh, ultimately, I have no fucking idea. There you go. <laughs> yes. Did my lesson provoke thought, giving rise to further questions? Three of you escaped the Sundering, but what of those who didn't? Well, they're dead, right? Let's see. Why? Their very beings were divided into fourteen, of course. Yet by our power, we unsundered Asians may rise up one of their fragments to their original office. <sighs> I suppose this in itself bears explaining. So... The names by which you know us are not, in fact, our names. Be it Elidibus, Lowbred, Igion, all our titles of office. And when an office is vacated, it may be filled by another. Over the eons, I have overseen several changings of the guard among our sundered brethren. And in such instances, the vacant title ordinarily goes to another fragment of the self-same soul. That is by no means impossible to raise up on wholly unrelated individuals. It is we whose fervent entreaties brought forth Lord Zodiac, whose souls he claimed in the beginning, who make the truest servants. And none would remain to rise up new Asians, and our kind would eventually fade from existence. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Feel free to dream. It's no crime to do so. Hmm. So what is his job title? Maybe he's the janitor. You know? Maybe Emmett Selk means bog cleaner. Yes. Did my lesson provoke thought, giving rise to further questions? Okay. You know? I couldn't ask his name. It was the same dialogue again. Oh. Divided to 14. Explained it. So the names, yeah. Self same soul. Ah, that, that one, I see. <laughs> there may come a day when I reveal my true name to you. But this is not it. Of course, you may all die, none the wiser, but life is such full of disappointments. Okay. So he doesn't tell you. <laughs> you guys get overhyped about not a lot. <laughs> okay. To war with the Burger King. Let's go. Quests are here. Yes, dude. All right, I was waiting for this. I'm going to smash these out real fast. Still uh, places to go in the ether conference. Yes, there is. Okay. All right. Fog champ. Give me my currents. <laughs> Excuse me. The other lady Alphano was traveling with, aren't you? I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch your name. Floor Inspector. Oh, Floor, how lovely to meet you. My name is Ulysses. I'm the acting village mayor. 
I was hoping someone of your talents would pass through right before long. The thing is, I need to visit someone up at Stonegazer, but I'm afraid to walk the path alone. You think you could provide an escort? Thanks. I couldn't bring myself to ask one of the villagers. See, there was an incident a while back where a veteran band of hunters was badly mauled. Simply mentioning that it's unsafe to wander outside the village these days would be enough to bring back memories of that grisly scene. Which is why it's been so difficult to bring the subject up. Such does not change the fact that the roads are indeed dangerous. Pray, meet me at the path to the north and be prepared to fend off the wildlife. No worries. I got you. I got you. Bright man, welcome, brother. Thank you for using your prime on us. Then what? Or the noise? Oh, who are you? <laughs> Forgive me. It's not often we see travelers in right. But with how dangerous it is hereabouts, they call me the noise. I even worry for my husband taking the road down to the shipyard. He's as strong as a Talos. He has been gone a good while, though. If you're heading that way, could you please let them know his wife is expecting him home? I'm on it. I'm sure your husband is absolutely fine. Zero problems. Oh, Ulyss. You've only been gone 20 yards. You were attacked by a dodo? You gotta feel bad. Just a long chicken. I don't think so. Guys, you. Thank you so much for your prime, brother. Thank you, man. Coyote. Why did you decline that quest? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? What did I tell you? That's barely 10 steps out of the village. Come. Let's hurry along before more predators have a chance to gather. Oh, this is the place that was sealed off, right? We couldn't get in here. And we could hear noises bumbling around inside. I doth remember. Something bad happened? Thank you for the escort, Floor. This is the gentleman I wish to speak with, so we didn't go any further. Sorry, Luke. Are you wandering around by yourself out here? You know what kind of creatures lurk beyond the borders of the village. Well, if it ain't Clifton's little girl, what do you want? What are you doing here? Yes, sir. I came for an answer to my proposal from the other day. Have you given any thought to taking over as village mayor? I'm doing the best I can in the interim, but I have neither the age nor the wisdom to continue in the role. And the rest of the villagers agree with me. Nah, mate. Fucking told you already. Don't want none of that, mate. Is he? Seeing as you found a guard just so you could come and talk to me. And mayhap I will consider the idea in exchange for a few small tasks. Oh, it's him. Seeing as you brought an escort on that, mate. Maybe if you do some stuff for me, though. Maybe I'll be mayor. Maybe. Probably not, though. Go on, then. You will? Please just tell me what I need to do. All right, then. You know my mate, Cliffdoll? You know him. Your father. Looking for sickles to cut some rope. Why don't you go back to that village and get me one for me? I can't be asked. Why would you? I mean, a sickle, was it? A cutting rope. That shouldn't be too difficult. What's wrong? I had only meant to ask you along for one trip, but if I'm to complete these tasks, would you be willing to indulge me a while longer? What's going on here? Something sus is happening. I suspect sussery.
Why was she so shocked at him asking for a sickle to cut rope? Village of Woe. Yeah, there's definitely sussery afoot. The vibrant villager. Good day to you, young Eulis. You look a little flustered, dear. Was there something I could help you with? And a good day to you, madam. I was actually hoping to borrow a sickle. Is that all? Here, take mine. Oh, she loves life. She's awesome. I have several spares, and there's no rush in returning it. Doing a spot of harvesting, are you? Uh, my thanks, but it's, it's not for me exactly. I was asked to bring one for my father. A father? Shadow, save me. What's going on? Give me. If you have to accompany me in these tasks, then you deserve to know the whole story. It was my father, Cliff. Was the former mayor of right and the incident i spoke of earlier was something that happened a year ago one day a stray sin eater came prowling around and slaughtered nearly half the village it was a waking nightmare some of the villagers blamed my father they said it was because he refused to accept the protection of yulmore the sheer scale of the tragedy and the accusations that followed wore away at his conscience well finally he could bear the guilt no longer hung himself. Wow, that guy up there at that tower is a fucking turbo dick. What an absolute cunt. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Sai Luke, the old man we spoke to, was his closest friend. Considering how he worded his request, it seems he's reluctant to accept the fact of my father's death. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's in denial. Oh dear. Oh, this is really dark. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Uh... Still, I see this task to its end. Let's bring him his sickle, shall we? I thought the request for a, a sickle to cut rope for your dad was a dig at her dad killing herself, but he still thinks he's alive. He's fine. <laughs> He'll be fine. Walk it off. Fun little village. Yolmo is a cool place to live. Hi, Luke, sir. We brought the sickle you asked for. Oh, good, good. Old Cliff will be glad to see this. Uh, sir. Thank you for staying with me, Flo. Might be harder than I expected. I can't do as the memory. Uh, we're playing this out. I'm grateful to have you with me, Flo. Thank you again. Sir Luke, sir, I believe you had more tasks for me. Uh, still here, are you? Yeah, yeah, tasks. There's a talus of mine that's taking far too long to make its return. Probably busy tussling with some dinway predator. We'll see how it fares and chase off anything slowing it down. But all the oh, you mean that, Talos? Pray, follow my lead, Flo. I'll find the Talos in questions to the southwest of here. I have no doubt there'll be dim witted predators aplenty for you to deal with. I can't make him a chav. The man's in fucking mental distress. I can't do that. That's not fair. You started it. Yeah, I did. I have to make guesses. I have to make assumptions. I'll do my best. Hop. Hop, Dodo. Denied. Hey, Fraggy. Thank you very much for the pride, brother. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. I think the shop would be immensely distressing. Nah, not the ones I've met. Confused. <laughs> He's a well-built woodworker. Woodworker. Eh, something I could do for you, stranger. 
Or beat me with an hammer as it's been that long. I was aiming to salvage the planks from this old hull, but she's given me more trouble than I bargained for. Bit of a waste to leave all this lumber yarding around. Not much call for seaworthy ships as the light ain't up half the world, you understand? So I reckon it'd be better for a woodworker like me to be put to good use. These boards, though, they're so tightly joined, I can't be bleeding pull the things loose. Here, do me a favor and sprinkle some of this powder on the joints along the keel. I'll keep working on this end, and with any luck, I can make it home if my wife stops me down here to fetch me. It's hard at work. His missus has got people running to and fro to get him back home. Just phone him, text him or something. Yeah, this is the other quest. It's fine. I'm less invested in this guy having to uh, stop pulling planks. <laughs> Slightly less investment in this one. That ah, should do the trick. Powdered fire crystal is the best thing for melting wood glue. Just pour a little water on the steam will take care of rest. It's also being one my job now, thanks to you. Well, if you can let the, the noise know, I'll be done in the hour. Now, you've helped me out of two rough spots today. No problem. A ship hung itself? Oh, my God. And then that ship fell into despair. Oh, fuck with the noise. She'll mess you up. Oh god, has this Talos been long dead as well? <sighs> Squirrels? This is a little outside of my wheelhouse of things to kill. I'm just gonna put that out there. The Talos hung itself. Don't, man. This is gonna be a really dark story. Don't make it lighthearted. This is gonna be really sad. Shut up. Piano's on now. You can't be making jokes. I'm glad you were here. They must have burrowed in beneath the plates. I knew Siluke implied the Talos was still moving, but as you can see. Once upon a time, there'd be a line of these contraptions hauling materials down to the shipyard, step by ponderous step, which incidentally is how the slow road supposedly earned its name. But after Daedalus Stoneworks closed down some 15 summers ago, there's no one left to make or maintain their creations. One by one, the Talos slowly fell into disrepair. Pianist hung himself, you dickhead. <laughs> this particular worker was damaged during the Stray Eater rampage. And it hasn't shifted an ilm ever since. It was always Siluke's favourite. Oh. Let's make our report. You already knew this. Why are you dragging me out here to see this? Just take me to the side and say, look. Why do you want this guy to be mayor? There has to be a better choice, right? There must be a better choice than this guy for mayor. There has to be. How many people live in this village? Let's say 15 looking at it. We need a mayor? This feels like it's turning into one of those guilds that has 24 officers and only three members. Siluke, sir. Law has cleared away the pests that were bothering your Talos. Talos? Oh, yes, yes, the Talos. 
it should be left alone for the time being. Excellent news, but I, I expect he'll need some polishing when he returns. <laughs> the most troublesome ones are often the most endearing, eh? Sir. Uh, you've, you've done me a fine service, thank you. Indeed, thank you, Flo. I could never have fought such creatures myself. I might impose on you for the next task as well. Okay. How dark a rabbit hole are we going down? Maybe we become mayor and we restore order to the town. Thank you again for staying. I honestly couldn't do this without you. It's like Luke, sir. Are there any other tasks you had for us? Uh, uh, yeah, just one last thing. Can you gather some pretty flowers from the split hole? It's a gift for my darling wife. She's fucking dead, isn't she? Did she commit suicide? Did she? <sighs> she, she's, she's, she's gone out for a, a usual walk. She's not come home yet. I fear I may have said something to sour her mood. You, you know how it can be. I uh, understand. We'll gather a lovely bouquet for her then. I'll follow your company to the Cape for some flower picking. Before the pianist hung himself, he shot his wife. Jesus fuck, this fan fiction is messed up. Oh, this is some twisted fan fiction. I don't like it. I don't like it. The, t the tale of the, the town of right. That's written by Twitch chat. Jesus fucking Christ, that's dark. Where are we going? Okay, we're going over here. <laughs> Flowers, yeah. Uh. At least it's sunny here. Hey, Ubergly, Ubergly, how you doing, buddy? Good morning to you. Fondness, thank you for the sub, brother. Thank you, I'm glad you're having a good time, man. Maybe his wife's not dead. We're presuming that she's dead. She might be fine. Maybe she did go for a walk. It's possible. It's possible. She just went for a walk. Maybe Ulysses is his wife. And he doesn't remember her. Which is worse. Got to pick her own flowers. It's almost pleasant, isn't it? Aside from the aggressive wildlife, of course. I should tell you about Siluk's wife. She was killed in the Eater incident. Although I imagine you already suspected as much. They made such a sweet couple. Every day they would walk up this cape, hand in hand. He would gaze out over the flowers with his warm, consented smile. Thy Luke himself has some training as a warrior. He would guard her as if she were his princess. And he her gallant knight. I'm sorry. It's just... Should he be... Are you sure this guy should be the mayor? Are you absolutely sure? There are none who care for right and its people more than he. The villagers and I are certain that Sai Luke will rise to the occasion. He just... needs a little more time. It's been but a year and we're still suffering. Some seek to bury the misery beneath cheery faces and others are yet trapped in the memories of the past. Sai Luke, I fear, is one of the latter. But if a bouquet of flowers is what it takes to help him work through his sadness, then I would pick every bloom from this cape. Will you give me a hand? Pray. Think of it as a tribute to the deceased. <sighs> sure. It's been a year, but the flowers will fix it up real nice. Just take some joy pills. Yeah, there may be. Maybe that's the play. If I ordered the beanbag yet? I don't even know what's happening with the beanbag. I've left I've left them in charge of the beanbag. I am having fun actually, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. But yeah, I am having fun. <laughs> I wanna know what's next. There's gotta be a dog. Is there a dog? There's gotta be a dog. There's definitely a dog. Let's see what we have. Yeah, 
Yes, these are beautiful. Thank you. So Luke will be pleased. Let's take them back to Stone Gaze before they get crushed in some scuffle. The dog didn't eat the wife. The dog ate the baby. Keep up, will you? The city has killed the wife, but then the dog in its panic ate the baby. The wife ate the dog. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We made it. Will you put a fucking serious face on for two minutes? The flowers are none the worse for wear. Hi, Luke. Laura and I have returned with the bouquet for your wife. Uh, ah, splendid. Thank you. And uh, perhaps she will come... We'll come back. Any second now. Any minute. Uh, forgive me. I have asked such cruel things of you. I apologize to you as well, Flo. Yeah. My beloved wife, my dear neighbors, so many gone. After it happened, despair became my only company. I could not even say my closest friend, but his torment was plain for all to see. I could never forgive myself. So I embraced the delusion. I think that maybe, maybe if I tried hard enough, if I believed, I truly believed they were still alive. That the events of that day would fade away like the nightmare it was. But I succeeded only in hurting those around me. I understand why you did what you did, sir. Truly, I do. You were always such a sweet child. I'll place the flowers you brought on her grave. She would have loved them. As for me assuming the role of mayor, I'm sorry. I cannot give you a decision just yet. Take as long as you need. In fact, I might need a little time to recover myself. Floor, if you could give me a moment or two. There's a happy ending to this. There's a happy ending, for sure. Thank you for your patience, Flo. Sai Luke still appears to be wrestling with his thoughts, but perhaps we can help him come to a decision. Sir, I don't mean to press you, but might you have arrived at an answer to my proposal? Uh, not exactly, no. There is another matter I have yet to reconcile. It's the dog, isn't it? It's the fucking dog. It's all the dog. Do you mind sharing this matter with us? Uh, it goes back to the day that the Eater attacked the village. I was taken by Turner's lookout here at Stonegazer. The duty we take very seriously. They say when the tower was originally built in the time before the flood, they were worried about dwarves and mountain bandits, but these days... Yes, there's far worse prowling around. And I failed to spot it. The sin eater which came that day did not appear as the other monstrosities I have seen. From a distance, it simply looked like a person. I wanted to be sure before I rang the warning bell, but I waited too long. Many who could have fled died because of my hesitation. How could a man of such faulty judgment ever serve you as mayor? What comfort could I offer those whose loved ones were so needlessly slain? None. Not whilst the abomination itself yet roams free to kill again. Ah, kill it! You. You would take vengeance on our behalf. That is good. But we were powerless before its might. Should the Eater show its cursed face again, I pray you are as strong as you appear. I know nothing of the roads you have walked or the battles you have fought. 
so I can but echo what Sai Lucas said. Our prayers will be for your victory. Sir, you've heard Flo's words. Talk of vengeance aside, I do not believe the villagers, either living or dead, hold you responsible for the actions of that monster. And yet I cannot fault you for wanting to remain distant. Pray, forgive me for pestering you, sir. Hey, is that I should bear forgiveness? Oh, you've lost as much as anyone. I left you to shoulder the burden of leadership alone. All will be well when you are back among us again. Come, let us return to the village. As I said, it's unsafe to linger out here long. Floor. One last escort back to right, if you would. Told you, good ending. He's got to be mayor. This town's got to be prospering. When I return the knight to this place, right is going to become the new gambling place of Yulmor. I'm glad we followed this through. Thank you for my protection, Floor. Not to mention your unfailing patience. It's my hope that now Sir Luke has unburdened his mind to us, his heart will be that tiniest bit lighter. I, for one, feel ready to face another day. After all, I have my friends and neighbours here to help me face it. And there was one last thing I wanted to show both you and Sir Luke. It has to do with Wright's traditional industry. If you're interested in saying, look, is it a trolley? You have a trolley? Oh, good. I was worried you'd had enough of me. My last errand for you, then, will be to have a word with Sai Luke and bring him to the barley fields to the front of the village. I'll be there tending to the crops until you arrive. I think there may be a trolley. Ah, Flo. I am grateful for your understanding and the flowers you brought. My wife would have loved them much, very much. Now, is there something you wish to discuss with me? And Euless wants me there as well, does she? We had best head over to the fields then. The trolley hit the dog. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Floor, we are aware we're trying to save the world here. In a minute, Alfie! what I wanted to show you. Barley crop right here. This. This was your father's plot, wasn't it? And you've been tending to it in his absence. Every single day, I want to see his plans come true. His plans? Yes. He dreamed of restoring things to how the history books said they once were, before the flood ruined everything. Our village has long been known as a place of artisans. Even the name Wright is a nod to all the craftsmen that once made their home here. In years gone by, it said a line of Talos would stretch down the road, arms bearing lumber, and the shipyard would echo with the calls of shipwrights hard at work. When the day was done, they would gather here to share an ale in the village. My father, he... He hoped to brew the traditional right ale with the barley. We're growing beer! Yeah! One day, tap a barrel with his family and dear friends and raise a toast. The future. Oh. Give her a hug, man. Huggles. Go pat her on the head, dude, or I'll fucking slap you so hard. I'll knock the snot out your nose. Sai Luke. Floor. Will you raise a mug with me when that day comes? Of course I will. Is he gonna say she did a shit job? Ah. But my dear girl, the land here does not nourish the crops as it once did. He is saying that. She's been telling to it every day in memory of her father. I fear it will be some time ere you have barley fit the ale you have in mind. In the meantime, will you help me with the rest of Cliff's plans? Rest? He wanted things the way they once were, did he not? Then we must first recover from the tragedy which was visited upon us. 
There is no simple solution, but I mean to do what I can to lead our community out of this mire of pain and grief. Assuming you're still willing to have me as mayor. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. I was set to live out the rest of my life in denial. But you and Ulysses have opened the eyes of this old fool to what needs to be done. And for that, you have my thanks. Now, I had best get to work. I have folk to talk to and plans to make. When you're finished here, Ulysses, I would appreciate your assistance. Good ending! Wow! That was worth it. That was totally worth it. We saved the town, guys! Pats on backs! Pats on backs! The whole village wanted him as mayor. We did a really, really good job there. I'm so happy for us. Mike, look at this. Is this going to make me angry? If I start getting angry, I'm not reading it. I'm telling you now. If it starts making me mad, I'm not reading it. All right, it's a small one. What is this? Final Fantasy XIV is not more casually casual friendly than WoW. It is far less friendly, in fact. I played Final Fantasy XIV quite a lot. My bad. Till mid of the Stormblood expansion. Then I had my what moment and quit. Never to return. Why? I had had... Uh, this needs music. <clears throat> Why? I had had enough. Enough of having to do dungeons during the main quest. Enough of having to do trials. Eight people boss fights often quite hard and unforgiving during the main quest. Even more, enough of having to do solo scenarios during the main quest, which can be hard and annoying. You can't even outgear because you're always scaled down. Could you just let me do the darn main quest already, Yoshi? Farewell, Final Fantasy XIV. Play your lousy scenarios yourself. Now let's compare notes with the Shadowlands. After less than 20 hours of play, I have completed the main quest of the 9.11. I'm 209 item level and 74 renown. I've done a whopping two dungeons on normal. Have my legendary. Have almost all the so feared conduits at item level 200. Can solo three people group quests. Need I go on? That is some good bait right there. That is some quality bait. <laughs> That's some quality bait right there. <laughs> oh, wait, he responds. He responds. Wait, it's not over. I hate when games get difficulty on it. Me too. As usual, you willfully miss my point. There are way more difficult games than Final Fantasy XIV around. I'm not complaining about them. The problem with FF XIV is that everybody is painting it as this chill, relaxing experience. Ideal for elderly people like me. In one word, for casuals. And it's all a lie. One can play World of Warcraft and reach a decent level without ever touching raiding, PvP, or hardly a dungeon. In Final Fantasy XIV, you can't. In the very main quest, there are challenges, which will sure be a breeze for you, but can be, let's say, annoying for the likes of me. Why don't you want to do dungeons or PvP or raids? That's all the fun stuff. I don't understand. I never said I don't do dungeons, raids, or PvP. I haven't done them in Shadowlands yet because i have just resubscribed after two years of pause again my point is that in world of warcraft 
You can play without them if you wish. In Final Fantasy XIV, you cannot. Any, is that it? Oh no, I'm back. Did you even read my post? I'm item level 209 after less than 20 hours played. And I'm sure that is already enough to do everything I care about. This is pure bait. <laughs> You have the same thing in WoW though. Where? I only noticed two. Two extremely easy dungeons. Or maybe one even. Irrelevant. I don't even remember them. You forgot your dungeons after just 20 hours? Fuck man, you're worse than me. The problem is I'm not invested in Final Fantasy 14 at all. Not anymore. It takes all my patience to keep invested in WoW through all Blizzard's abysmal shenanigans and bad game design. I don't have any patience left for Square Enix and their even worse game design. This is some good logic here, actually. Well, uh, so the argument, I think if I'm getting this, this bait is so good because in this one sentence, you're hitting all the key points. World of Warcraft is so bad that it made me impatient which means I can't play Final Fantasy XIV because I've got no patience left. So I had to come back to World of Warcraft, which drains my patience. This is quality bait. This is excellent. This is 10 out of 10. Like, that just annoys everybody. Good find. I like it. Approved. Good job. Good job. I like it. Appro yeah, definitely approved. That was awesome. That was a good read. People are going to get all riled up and shit. <laughs> Silverflow, thank you for the 100 bits. Rabbit, as the guy who's confused casual with shit players, I think it's a complete lie. Oh my God, Drakmord, thank for 20 gifted subs, brother. Holy shit, man. Thank you so much. That's so generous of you. That really is. Vero, thank you for the six as well. And Zombie and Fondus. And Sesenia, uh, oh my God, the one year anniversary. 12 months of baiting my prime sub. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the dead to the dead dog. What was the final story? The pianist the pianist hung himself, which is some reason set off the trolley which killed the dog. After he shot the wife. That's that was the final story you guys came up with. Mike, have you heard of the trolley problem? There is two Magitek cars, one running towards Thancred and another one towards another trolley. But you only have the ability to save one of them. Which do you save? <laughs> that's tough man that's a tough decision that, that's not easy I, I can't figure that one out man I don't know <laughs> I don't know that's too hard <laughs> oh Flo I think this is where we finally part ways thank you again for all you've done for us people of right will go on even under the weight of our sorrow it might not happen this day or the next but together we'll find ways to make things better recapture the prosperity this village once had I look forward to when you next visit. With any luck, I'll be waiting to put a froth mug of ripe brewed ale in your hand. That'd be nice if that eventually pays off. That would be sweet. Oh my god, I can't read that. That's Kanji. Yeah, I can't read that. But thank you very much for the Prime. <laughs> I absolutely cannot read that. Primal Shulk is gifted two subs as well. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Super nice of you. Thank you. It's Korean. I still can't read it. <laughs> Regardless, I still can't read it. <laughs> There's zero chance I can read it, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, is it nice to have side quests with stories that may give a crap? Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Of course it is. No, I haven't done a lot of them, but I definitely want to do some other ones that we've kind of walked past. It's all right, then. Well, that's a relief. Right, so it's share of troubles and a wife does worry. What? How do you help me stripping planks? The cheek of that man. Still, we're lucky his father taught him the trade at all. If he uses those skills to take ships apart instead of building them, a woodworker puts food on the table. I'm grateful to his family for keeping up their traditions. And I'm grateful to you for bringing me peace of mind. Take this for your kindness. Thank you. Uh, were we near a current as well? We were. Northeast. 
should be able to get that. Maybe. Are you planning to start some beast tribe quest lines? I plan to check out pretty much everything at some point, right? Like, genuinely, I pretty do. My game plan right now, my general thoughts are I want to do, like, the MSQ, obviously. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, the roll quests, I want to jump into some of the other FFs because uh, I, I genuinely think I'm spoiling somewhat my own experience by not doing that. So I want to do that. Uh, I want to try out the different jobs. I want to try out the crafting and see how that goes. So basically, uh, in about 20 years, we should be good. It's not about need, it's about want. So that's all the stuff I want to do. Well, apparently I need to go uh, sea fishing with Noble. Otherwise, I'm not, I'm not even playing the game, basically. Ah, there you are, Flo. The others have gone ahead to recognize the gate town. We have to follow shortly. It has been a while, has it not? Since the two of us infiltrated Yulmor? It has, Alfie, you know? I've got to be honest, I didn't notice you weren't there. Like I did with Ish. I mean, you've dropped in every now and again, right? We've had team biscuits and whatnot. Since we faced Lord Vorthry, I felt such fury as I've never felt before. His actions are unconscionable, of course, and any abhorrence I felt for him entirely justified. Yet, mingled with my rage, there was something else. At first, I wasn't sure what it was. In the course of our struggles, I found the answer. Involved with self-righteousness and his absolute belief that he and he alone is the cure to the world's ills, I saw a reflection of myself. It brought the memories of all my past follies flooding back. Crystal Braves, never forget. Pull one out. He is the vanglorious, ignorant fool I once was. And having shared his affliction, I feel duty-bound to open his eyes to the truth. Whether he will accept it with the good grace I did is another question. <laughs> what, we're going to try and convince him? <laughs> oh, Alfie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to try and convince the 900-pound man that we last saw fall out of his diaper and bang the floor with his fists while going... We're going to have a legitimate conversation with him, are we? We're going to break it down. All right. What is it, Reen? You sense the light, Warden? I, I'm not sure. The aura is different. Perhaps if we were a little closer. It's time we run our way, in any case. Let's just join our comrades in Gate Town. Well, as a precaution, may I ask that you go first to ensure that the path is clear? The closer we are to Yulmore, the more I worry that Reen may be recognized. If you see any prying eyes along the way, pray. Encourage their owners to look elsewhere. We could dress her up so she wasn't, you know, identical to when she left. She's got ginger hair now. They'll never be able to tell. Yeah, she's totally different. Joey, thank you very much for the prime, man. Got level two hype train going, you maniacs. Thank you. The skis. Welcome, dude. And a tap. And Nissa, man. Thank you for the four months. Cage. Hope you're enjoying Shadow Rings. Yeah, very much. Delirious youth. <sighs> you hail the civilian, but he's not responding. Continues incoherent rambling. We do know they have little birds out here in the town. Oh, an agitated man. This seems more appropriate. Lord Vorfi, we're here. We obey. Um. Okay, he's used his mind control spell on everybody. Okay. Fair enough. I'm sure it's fine. Turn them all into zombies. Uh, 
I haven't even tried playing the game with the controllers, to be honest, but I mean, I prefer not to. But I'm glad that it's good. Oh, he's euphoric. Euphoric youth. Long live Lord Vartry. Long live the Lord Vartry. Right. Right then. Yeah, I mean, he likes Lord Vartry, all right? Sap guy, thank you very much for the three months. The similar, thank you very much for the three months as well. <laughs> Best voice actor, hardly, hardly. Shadowless lurker, thank you very much as well for the gift. It's so very nice of you. Your phone snapped to your controller. What for internet? Is that how you did it? Oh wait. Oh. Ah, good of you to join us. I was debating whether to warn you, but it's too late now. I take it you notice the people behaving strangely along the path. It's more of the same here. Shatella and Alice are investigating as we speak. Let's wait and see what they have to say. Okay. A feast of lies. Well, this doesn't look good. Strange. Passing strange. By their behavior, we may safely assume that they are under Vorthry's mind control. Yet the extent of the effect seemeth to vary dramatically between subjects. The bread. It is far too pronounced to be attributed simply to the vagaries of innate magical resistance. It's the Sinita shit. Curiouser and curiouser. We met with no trouble en route. My thanks for securing the way. But given the state of the townsfolk, I see we were never in any danger of being recognized. What can you tell us from here? a powerful eater in the uppermost reaches of the city oh that but there's something coming up. different about it its light is impure impure light we need to get closer oh so that one's alfino well unless you're triplets all right gaze kashir what are you doing here? While I was scouting the area, I noticed a suspicious figure skulking about. So I accosted him, only to have him call me Alfino. I thought it best to bring him along. I mean, you are identical twins. You see, that informant who's been beating secrets to the Crystarium, it's me. See, after you saved my life in Yulmore, I thought about going somewhere far away, but I, I couldn't just leave. Not without paying you back. So I decided to stay here, keep an eye on things. And whenever I spotted something strange, I shared it with your friends. That took no small amount of courage. Well done. I assume you saw what happened here. Right, so an right. airship flew in a bit ago, and not long after, Four Free starts ranting and raving. You could hear him from all the way out here. Giza was doing his nuts. He said Giza. Screaming like someone had nicked his pie. It is like the airship bore the soldiers sent to thwart our efforts in armor. <laughs> so eventually the yelling dies down and then this hot sticky wind comes blowing through. Now that's when everyone went funny. No, everyone but me. Well, me and a couple of newcomers, though even they started mumbling about Vorfree after a while. Not as bad as the rest, mind you. Newcomers. There's something I need Reen to see.
This was among the town folks' food stores. Ah! Oh, that's just meal. You almost doze this stuff out. No, it it couldn't be. Is it city as shit? Or is it people? What it is. It's Sin Eater. Meal is made out of Sin Eater. Close. How though? They're killing Sin Eaters? What? Are they turning so them and eating them? In limited quantities, it may have little effect on an average individual. Yet if one were to consume it regularly, over a period of several years, I suspect it would do far, far more than merely nourish the body. Questions, questions. That Vorthri wieldeth power over Sin Eaters is known. Could it be that those who partake of their flesh do thereby render themselves susceptible to his influence? It would serve to explain why the town's newer arrivals succumbed less quickly than those raised on a diet of meal. He's been rounding up Sin Eaters and feeding them to people. Altering the mouthful by mouthful, all to stop them answering back. There are desperate souls out there killing themselves to escape turning. This is unforgivable. An atrocity. These Sin Eaters. What if they are... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Alfie. Up? Sure, pal, say. Do you remember what we were told when first we came to the city? Many enter. But none leave. Why does Sinus just be okay with themselves being killed? If it was the ultimate plan, maybe? Hmm. Let us put an end to it. To this paradise built upon the bones of the poor. Vortra's deeds are beyond justification. Beyond forgiveness. Evil. I mean, duh. You met him. It's highly probable that the Light Warden is waiting for us somewhere in there. And I'm all for going after it. But our enemies know our faces. They know that we are coming, and they will not let us through without a fight. Like it or not, the time for stealth is past. <laughs> Thank God. Now, my friend, if you would be so good as to lead the charge. So I get they take the homeless in, they convert them to seniors, but then they're killing them in order to make the meal. So the sinners, are we going with the sinners are okay with that because the ultimate goal is worth, or does Vartri actually have this mind control effect? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. When we step through the gates, we shall find not the place of hedonistic pleasure we remembered. That's a battlefield. If you are prepared for this, then let us sally forth. Sally forth! Sally me up, baby! I'm ready, Sally. Oh, our geese. Well, Vorfrey started rambling on, didn't he? Ah, uh, I can feel it. A dark presence in my domain. Ah, it's them. The villains who would sow chaos in my perfect paradise! Keep them away from me! I command you! Keep them away! Sounds scared. Some of the control over Sin Eaters. Do we have to kill innocents? Long live Lord Four Three. If I have to, he would use his own people as shields. This area is older than Gate Town. There are bound to be far more civilians under Vorthry's control. But they do not act of their own free will, and we must not harm them. As if we ever would. We could. Press on with Alpha now. We'll hold off the civilians and join you as soon as we can.
same. I mean, if they're in the way, they're in the way, right? Try and stop it. So, are we hurting them or not? What are the rules here? Let's kill them to be sure. That way we've covered all our bases. All right, now we're going. Oh. Nah, I can't leave. I'm going to have to kill all these guys. Okay, you two. The rest of you, with me. There we go. The 12 guide you. We're abandoning Reen already? Really? Okay. The only sad... I wonder if we'll have to kill the Chais. I don't want that to happen. I will, but I mean, I don't want to. Be perched. <laughs> I fear. Technically, they're the enemy now, so. Alright, so now we're losing Ariange. I assume it's just gonna be me and Alfie at the end of this. That would be my guess. Oh, I'll say he's coming. Nice. I can dig this. I can dig this. Oh, is this where we lose her? Maybe. Well, we could use... We shouldn't cleanse the city because we can still use it afterwards. It's a cool city. That's why I'm a proponent of biological warfare. If we gas this whole place... We get to keep it. Where's that black rose at? We get some of that black rose. We pop back. We get some black rose. Oh, the jugglers! Kind of surprised these aren't in a, a, a dungeon. That's genocide, that's preach gaming. As far as I know, we've only committed genocide in a couple of games, and always was warranted. I'll break your funny bone. Alfie. What? I think it might be Lisa's voice actor. We've seen her. Uh, I've seen Lisa's already. Wedge has done a few. Hello. A gift for you. Right. No more Mrs. Nice Jester. Which is nice to see, honestly, because they haven't just, like, ignored them for the entire the expansion, even if their character's not a part of it. Have we even seen Raban once? I don't think so. All the stuff back in the Aussie has been focused on Jeff and Batman. We've not seen any of Raban. We haven't seen Emmerich. Which is a feels bad. Leave them to me and press on. Oh, I'm going solo.
Hi. You will find my master in his chamber. We're going one on one? I'm ready. But only should you kill me this day, and you will not. Yeah, why did you go so far? Why? He didn't always be this way, unless he's enthralled. You may think me under his spell. Apparently not. But I uphold Lord Vorthry's ideals of my own volition. Man is an inherently flawed creature. In his vain pursuit of righteousness, he but sows the seeds of future conflict. Thus, have I chosen to place my hopes upon he who has transcended men. Upon he who is unbound by the vagaries of conscience. <laughs> <laughs> but enough talk. I am a soldier, and you are my enemy. I really appreciate people with no conscience. Come. Let us settle They're this once and for all. Uh, conscience is a shackle. It must be broken. All right, let's dance, Ranji. I beat you with that cred. I can beat you again, son. Perfect. What a nice guy you are. I'm on the border of the room, okay. Oh, I've got five in this small area, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, you're getting destroyed, dude! You better have more than this! This is circles on the floor, yeah. Greedy cast, greedy cast. Another one. Fuck it, right now. It's fine, it's fine. Not quite ready for rune yet. Uh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. We're good. One greedy cast, fuck's sake. Asshole. Okay, I'm being too greedy. Too greedy. But Rune was down.
still winning, by the way. We're good. He is gaining the upper hand. I can play it safe now. The next one. <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> Ah. Too greedy. Oh shit. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Wait, is it phase two? Oh, no way is there a phase two. I could kill them in this one. Okay. Free win, dude. Wait, is he gonna blow up? Popping rune. That was a cool little fight. Is there a phase two? Kupo. You are right, Flo. <laughs> that Chris gonna stamp on this guy's skull, isn't he? The citizens appear to have been calmed for the moment. I can only assume Vol 3 is otherwise engaged. Let's go to the upper level while we can. He was definitely thinking about making that guy's eyes pop out of his skull. A hundred percent. Is he eating all the Sin Eaters? Lord Vorthry, your reign of tyranny is at an end. Don't like it. For too long you have preyed upon the desperation of the poor. Now you will answer for the suffering you have caused. And if you harbor even a shred of remorse, I beseech you to use your powers to redress the balance for the future of all in Norvrant. No, it can't be. This is wrong. It's wrong. The Warden, it's not just a Sin Eater. It's a man. Yes! I won! I won a bet! I won a bet! My first one! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy. Remorse? For the future of all? What nonsense is this? There is no justice but mine. No future but mine. Oh, please stop. No will but mine. It is preordained. I was born to deliver this wretched world. Me? Is it a skin I'm costume? Seated. No, 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 no. It's impossible. Inconceivable. Absurd. I am a great and wise king. Greatest 
and wisest. I reign from on high. I will not be brought low by maggots like you. Ah! Oh, this is horrendous. Oh, yes, of course. I can begin again. Rebuild my paradise. Once I finish my dinner. <laughs> Assume we're dinner. Oh, no? Don't eat the fuck. Oh, God. No. Stop him. Then Chris, stop him! There it is! Nope. There's no fucking way this guy can fly. There is zero chance. Where did he go? They landed. What? What is it? What in the heavens? Did Vorthry do that? Is that Zodiac? That is Mount Gorg, the highest peak in Calusia. Oh, no It mind. lies on the other side of a sheer cliff, and much as I wish it were otherwise, it is beyond our reach for now. But even if it weren't, there are people here who need our help. Oh, Alphino. There's a logic with time Please, and idea. Even if it's only to tend to their wounds. It's a lack. <laughs> I'll help too, Alfie. It's all good. It's going to take him about five years to get up there. We're fine. Thank you. I don't know if it will work, but if Vorthry's hold over the people is rooted in light, I might be able to reverse its effects. Will you let me try? Of course. We'd be grateful for any help you can provide. If the light water's not in the area, wouldn't the light well, then, pass? If it's decided, let's all get to work. Then that is a juicer. You could probably power two zones, that boy. Look, my thought was, right, Zodiac's been split. We know that. And <clears throat> Hydlin's a big blue crystal. You gotta imagine the baddie crystal and its weakened state, divideth, would be a kind of weaker looking crystal rocky thing. 
Okay. So, just saying. What are you question marking me for? That's perfectly logical. That's perfectly logical. Don't question mark me. Don't do that. It's perfectly logical. It's all weak and split up, but it's around. And if you guys get complacent like you are being, you can be anywhere. Anytime. So stay sharp. Okay? Stay sharp. That's all I'm saying. Oh, you paid up on the subs, you wonderful people. I didn't think you would. LB Booster Sunriser. Thank you so much, Warden. Kippery, Chris. Oh, man. Can't, I honestly did not expect anybody to pay up on the bet. Thank you very much. Base 10 skulls in. Thank you all. Thank you all. Oh, 8,507? Wow. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you. I, I am open to another bet now. <laughs> I'm open to another bet. Not just because I won that one, but I don't have that hanging over me anymore. <laughs> you want to gamble on that, Mike? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Gamba! Gamba! Addicted. Gamba! 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 See what Dankrin has to say. Good news, Floor. It has seen that Reen is indeed able to reverse the effects of Vorthry's influence. Even as we speak, she tends to the afflicted in turn. Problem being, there is no end to them. We're trying to provide what relief we can to those who are waiting and would appreciate your help if you're willing. Uh, not willing. Oh, Teus, thank you very much. God enraged. Thank you for the prime. Teus, thank you for 13 gifted subs, man. And Vryn. Wow. I mean, everybody's getting an, an emote today. Indeed. In total, that was over 100 gifted subs amongst those people. Easily. Just a crazy day. Now we can use the etherite. Yay. Yay, everybody. We're finally worthy. Are the Chai's still here? Or have they been... Racaroni? They'd be upstairs eating dinner, wouldn't they? Oh, they might be over here. Are the Chai's here? Table's empty. Dead. Dead. We're still not the wiser as what that baby is that lives inside, uh, what's his face? We're still not clear on what that baby's about. We'll get there. Here's some dream powder. We're administering it to the enthrall to keep them calm until they can receive proper attention. I'd appreciate if you could assist us with this task. Now, those effects are scattered all over the city. I suggest starting your search at the derelicts and working your way up. When you're done, be sure to let Reen know. Okay. I wouldn't eat the chais. They're nice people. The chais are nice people. They wouldn't get eaten. Uh, the story of the buttress. The path to glory. Outside. There we go. <laughs> Mellow Badger. Welcome, Mellow Badger. Thank you very much. Dan and I for the five as well, buddy. Mighty uh, Blacksiderm. Magi Maze. Thank you all so much. Imagine sucking on Vorthry's nipple and his face stares up at you. That's my issue, would be the face looking at me. That's where it would draw the line. That's, that would be the point. Yeah. It's fine up until that point. It was fine up until there. Oh, Lord Vorthry. You are my daily meal. Here you go, buddy. There you go, pal. To the understory. Yeah, he just wants to eat them. I don't see the problem. He <laughs> just wants to eat them. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you very much. It's ironic, sir. So, big fella, man. One day we can stand in each other's presence and you can educate me. One more, one more. Into the darkness we step. 
me, at least it didn't turn out to be Sinia crap, right? That could have been the worst day. That could have been the worst day. I don't know, I doubt. Are we ever getting a BlizzCon again? At least in the next, like, couple of years? I have doubts on that, bro. I have doubters. Yeah, I have doubts on that. Like, regardless of... Uh... Oh! Oh! Are we going to have to wait for Blizzard announcements at E3? Ugh! Gross! Oh, that's fucking gross! Oh, I just thought about that. Ooh. Meet at FanFest? Man, I miss all the Wild Brothers, dudes. I don't really... I don't go to BlizzCon for the Blizzard stuff. Never did. QuakeCon still exists, so I wouldn't worry. Yeah, they probably will in a couple of years. I would imagine so. That would be shit if there was no more BlizzCon. That would... That would be shit. That would be proper shit. That would suck. Like the last BlizzCon I went to, I barely even went inside the arena. <sighs> don't worry, like You have a great day. You have a I do want to go to the the FF1 FanFest. I do want to go to that. That would be really funny. Uh, FanFest, I definitely want to do that. For sure. New sub goal, 10,000. Fuck off, Chris. Maniac. Microf uh, Microsoft Con. Mm. I think you missed the most. Uh, the meal comes from poor people. No, no, we didn't miss that. I think mean, that, that was really obvious. But um, what I was curious about is is it just i mean from what i'm gathering it's just Valtry's mind control that's giving him the, the power um because i can't imagine the sin eaters which definitely have some sort of control Valtry, would be okay with them being murdered to turn into food but seeming as he's gobbling it all up gobbling he does like gobbling mm. does like gobbling I was trying to reconcile that perhaps they had essentially like a Silent Green factory somewhere inside of Yulmore that was pumping out meal by churning up. It was like, poor man goes in, a poor person goes in, they get gobbled up, or they get infected with the seed, so they get infected with the seed, we'll leave it at that. Then they turn, and then they're chopped and minced into meal, so they had like a conveyor belt of people going through it. Ah, oh, hurts. Please, Lord Vartry, take the pain away. You're the kind soul who saved me from falling to my death. My mistress, she's been injured. Oh, it's these two. Oh, he loves her as well. I'll help. Yeah, I, I like these two. He genuinely loves her. She's sleeping. The medicines help her rest while she awaits treatment, you say. Thank you so much. She began acting strangely. I didn't know what to do. Hmm. Big Satch. Big Satch. Big Satch. Declitch, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Garbanzos, welcome, dude. Welcome. Thank you. Ollie. Yeah, well, Sinitas are people anyway, from the start to finish. So they are people. It was just the process I was interested in. Process. Minus 70 gil. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Let's stop the trespass of Sully and got paradise. Here, dude. Sniff up. Oh no, that's rancid. Where did you fly to? My sweet canary. Oh, that is some pungent aroma there. I can't call Vorthry my sweet canary. That's that's messed up. That's upside down, backwards and inside out. Don't like that. Pass. Uh, let's grab the mail while we're here. Oh, he meant the little girl. So she's escaped? Wait, 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 wait. New twist. Plot twist. Turn it the right way around. Where did you go? She's either been eaten or she's around somewhere. Not dead? She might be Sin Eater. Or she might, she might be a little hot cross bun. Or she's free. Didn't see no cops. Didn't see no cops.
Does Jana have some more pre-yellow pants for you that don't clip? <laughs> My pants do not clip, do they? No clippers! Where? There's no clipping! Yeah, jumping's fine. Uh, oh, only when zoomed out. Okay. All right. I mean, my ass clips. I have clip ass. <laughs> I like how I look, kind of. I miss my jacket. No, I'm not getting my legs out. Absolutely not, pervert. You can't even tell. I'll try it. Alright, butt check. Uh, n dudes, no. Right? You can see my bloomers. You can see my bloomers. No, unacceptable. No, absolutely. No, 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 no. No, no, no. There'll be none of that. No, I mean. Oh, this is ruined. Reverse. Reverse. We're reversing the course. Reversing. Reverse course. We went too far. We went too far. There you are, Floor. I've just finished aiding this man. Now for the next one. More out in the derelicts and below, you say? Many of them. But Minfili entrusted this power to me. I won't rest until I've helped everyone. Ah, uh, yeah, I can carry them up here. I'll be like that lady from Encanto. That would certainly make it easier work for me. Thank you. I'll do my best to keep pace. All right, time to, time to round up the injured. We should figure out a way to broadcast the signal, right? You're going to be all right. I think that's the last of them. We've done all we can for the wounded. As for the rest... Hey! She lives! Uh, um, aren't you Alphano? The painter boy? What in the world is going on? Did something happen to us? Go on, give a speech. You love it. Don't tell me your balls aren't Let hard at the idea. This. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Citizens of Yulmore, what I'm about to tell you will come as a shock. Indeed, you may be loath to believe it, but if you trust the evidence of your senses, it is my hope that you will listen and accept the truth, unpalatable though it may be. Vortri is a sin eater. Everything he offered, everything he promised, was a lie. They still get to keep the city, though. There just might be some riffraff in there now. They're not taking it well, and who could blame them? Are you serious? 
saying we were Forthry's puppets all this time? When you attacked us, you were not yourselves. That much is true. But your conduct prior to that moment was your own. Vorthra's unnatural charisma does not absolve you of all responsibility. Of your own free will, you came to the city and gave yourselves over to its pleasures. Tell him, Alfie! Tell him what time it is! And in the course of this, if you mistreated those less fortunate than you, then that too was of your own free will. It is not for me to judge you, but for your victims, for history, for your conscience. <laughs> you have dreamed a twisted dream, but now you are awake. Spoken like a man who lived outside the doors for a year. Join with us and each other that we might begin anew. We've lost so many already. We dare not lose any more. I have said my piece. My thanks for giving me the chance. There is nothing more to be done here. Let us go after Vor Three. Is there anything we can do to help? You risked your lives to bring us to our senses, and I, for one, hope to repay that debt. Begin anew, as you said. You could help all those people you shit on outside. What say you to that? Vor Three has fled to Mount Gulg, and we mean to pursue him. Do any of you know the way? Crystarian Braves? Oh, sweet Jesus, no. The only no. way to Mount Gulg is over the Bright Cliff. Have you an airship? We will contemplate flight only as a last resort. Were we to come under attack whilst airborne, we would have little hope of defending ourselves. If at all possible, we would prefer to travel by land. Is there a way? The trolley. Have you heard of the trolley? The ladder is the only way up and down the cliff, but it hasn't moved in a long time. I'll call you back in a minute. In the old days, it was operated by the mining folk who lived at the top. But after the flood, it saw less and less use, and when Lord Vorthry took control, it was abandoned altogether. So we somehow need to get the ladder working again. It moves by means of a talos. I know a talos. Any help. But good luck repairing that. <laughs> Talos? D did someone say Talos? Did you eat one? You know all about them, don't you, dearest? If anyone can get this lift moving, it's you. Um, well, perhaps. But, but, but see here. Oh, yes. If you want the golem restored, you may leave it to my husband. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> For he happens to be the heir to Daedalus Stoneworks. No shit. The makers of Talos, whose contracts include the renowned mining venture of Armoring. It's... Well, it's been years and years since I had anything to do with it. I, I can't just pick up a hammer and set to work. I know a few people who'd like a word with you. You... you can't. Don't disappoint her. She no, loves th you. Th that's not what I... It's just... Uh... She loves you. Come on. There it is. We've all been all there, right. pal. We've all been there. The oh. But beyond that, I make no promises. Those with strong backs, come with me. I'll need help dragging the damn We've thing all out been of the there. storehouse. I don't want to do that, though. Really? I thought you could be the hero. <sighs> well done, brother.
Life power is stronger than the force, man. I'll tell you what, if Darth Vader had a wife, easy win for the Empire. Come, my friend. We have work to do. He did. What, Ray? Ray wasn't his wife, was she? Darth Vader's wife. Oh, Portman? That was when he was a kid. That wasn't his forever wife. Whoppa! Yeah, Portman. That was just the sandy rollabout he had. Nah. Nah. Look, loads of people get married and it's not their forever wife. That happens all the time. He killed her. Does that sound like love to you? Does it? I've never killed Emma. Not once. That's fact. You can't mess with the science of it. Look, the numbers don't lie. When you, when you check the logs, it, it all makes sense to me now. Right? You've tried? I don't think so. You'd have to ask her. I don't think so. I mean, I have sex with her and I'm like three times the size of her, so... It's all about perspective. You know, for which, depending on the angle you're looking at, The ladder is situated to the north and west of right. Let us make our way there, Floor. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> there are children here? Actually, not a lie, right? Where's the tweet? Someone sent me a picture with their, like, two-year-old watching the VODs at home. See, I don't recommend that. <laughs> I want to be clear. I just want to put it out there. My children are not allowed to watch what I do. All right? My children have really no idea about what I do because they're not allowed to watch it. Under any circumstances, they're not allowed to watch watch my channel. <laughs> All right? They've watched me do some events, but they've never watched, watched what I do. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. I think they want to come to PreachCon this year, though. They want to see what that's all about. They see the pictures on the walls and they're like, what is this? As far as they're concerned, I, I'm a stay-at-home loser dad who just plays games all day and makes mummy do all the work. That, that's my kid's perspective on the whole situation. Uh, I'm just, I might as well be an alcoholic. In my kid's eyes, I might as well be a down-and-out alcoholic smeared with feces top to bottom and mummy does all the work shit i need to call mummy by the way <laughs> i just told her i'd ring her back in a minute let's get up here you're not a loser shit up shit up you're not a loser ah gaston good to see you good to see you i can bike his bar three all three ran a city and a whole state and an army. He wasn't a loser. Right, let me just call him. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Just go.
All right, I need your guys' opinion. I need help. Any helpers? Oh. Well, they're quite simple, actually. These are the desks that Emma's getting me. These will do, won't they? For streaming. Do we want, though? The question is. Right, here's my choices. Rectangular. Or. Corner. Neither. Ugly? I mean, it's just for streaming. Rectangular or corner? These are what we're getting. They're, they're in the budget. They're discounted. <laughs> corner every time? Hmm. Choices, choices. react harder what to desks what man i'm never going to be the streamer who sits here browsing reddit all day that's not happening that ain't happening <laughs> i'd rather play games <laughs> i'd rather play games that's okay poll i don't want to poll it it's my choice and you, you'll scam me i think we go with the corner though i think you're right all right, the monitors. Uh, well, I like to use stands on my monitors, so we get rid of the base. We attach them to the back. Oh, hang on. It's the boss. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at it now. The, ch the chat says they're ugly. The chat aren't sitting in the office. You're right. You're, you're very stern with me. Uh, yeah, I understand. No draws, though. Any draws? I would like a draws. All right, I got a draws. All right, excellent. Okay, thank. <laughs> I want some draws, man. I need to hide shit from the office. Where am I supposed to keep my secret things? This isn't the final color. Uh, yeah, they will be black here. Yeah. Is they're matching some of the furniture I'm taking out of this office? Ikea. Get a safe. <laughs> Chris, if I got a safe, Chris would break into it. I'd always like... <laughs> invest, uh, invest a little and get a sitting standing desk. <sighs> I thought about that, but I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. When in doubt, corners. I chose the corners. Yes, I went with the corner. Camera around this area. These are fine. It's a desk. It's a desk. I only sit at it for like 13 hours a day. It's fine. It's fine. Need a mahogany desk for ultimate gaming? What, like uh, like in the free company? <laughs> I need one of those. Buy a mini fridge. I bought a fridge. Why would I buy a mini fridge? Can I see your Discord message? I did it, no. Let me check. Uh, la, 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 la. Hold on, jump to present. Whoosh. Okay. Perfect. No Sounds good, Mike. Uh, we shouldn't need to move the team meeting for it, though, right, Mike? Should imagine so. Did you get some floor lamps to go with it though? Oh, I've got wall mounted lamps. That's fine. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> no, I've got floor mounted New, New York lanterns. Very nice. Ooh. Ooh. We're all set. Floor. Dost thou see you ponder a pair of talos? For a blessing, they were found to be in good repair. Master Chai prepare to activate them as we speak. With our arcane knowledge, if Tola and I will serve as his assistants, 
At the appointed hour, we shall imbue the golems with ether. Others, meanwhile, attend to the ladder itself, which hath too long lain neglected. Extensive maintenance will be needed ere it can move again, as well as myriad materials with which to perform it. If thou art willing, we would prevail upon thee to procure lumber. I know a guy who's got lumber. I know a guy. My thanks, Floor. Directly to the south, thou will find a dry dock. Benement Yards. Pray, see if thou can persuade the folk there to part with some lumber for our cause. We know the lumber guy! And his wife! Pray return, man! <clears throat> Did you know you can put floor laps on tables? Yeah, by glitching or something. Some weird glitchy nonsense. I got a guy! They don't know. They don't know. They don't know about the, the love between the noise. Oh. Squirrel Talos. F. F for Squirrel Talos. One day. The Talos will rise again. The streets will be bustling. Different guy, I think. Oh, geese. Ho! Oh, oh, wait. He's... <laughs> oh, there, sinner. Haven't seen you around here before. New to Gate Town, I take it. If you need lumber for a shack, you've come to the right place. We can do the building for you too, though it'll cost extra. What's the one thing I want for the office but don't need? That's a great question. This plate has sorted us out rotten on pictures. Like, we're so good. A really nice sound system. I know that sounds stupid, but yeah, I'd like us to get a really nice sound system at some point. Especially in the main uh, set area where we're gonna have a big ass, we're gonna have a big ass TV for the web shows and stuff. But it would be nice to, when we're doing movie stuff, is to have a really cool sound system in there. That would be sick. That'd be really good. I've never had a really good sound system. And people tell me it's fantastic, but I've never had one. I'm kind of curious. Yeah. I've never had one. So I'd like that. A bed? No, I don't want to sleep at the office. Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Quite the opposite. <laughs> Need to have the ears for it. Well, I imagine it, like a really good sound system. You'd have to like noise proof and shit like that. Our neighbors might not be too happy. Although I did, fu I have made one mistake with our neighbors already. Who owned the downstairs. Uh, all right, look, I want to say this was not malicious, but it did happen. Is that <laughs> as we've been moving stuff to the office and getting things like microwaves, kettles, fridges, all the networking stuff, there's been a lot of waste produced boxes and, and that sort of thing right it's a natural occurrence when you're acquiring these th new things so i asked emma because she gets to go during the day uh to ask the downstairs where do we put our rubbish because i didn't know where do we put our rubbish uh but i always get to go to the office either like five to six so last night i was there till about eight o'clock um, I've moved all the VR stuff's gone from our office now. That's gone. I had to take and unscrew and remove all the VR set. That's all gone now. And so I was I was there yesterday sorting that stuff out. <clears throat> My kids were doing the homework in Chris's and Dups' office. And so I was really curious, where are they putting the rubbish? So I had to walk outside the building and realize that outside, there's a gated off area that had a giant waste bin in it. A really huge one. I was like, oh, it's there. You must have to go out the fire exit in order to get there. So it took me about 10 minutes to figure out how you open the fire exit, which was a little ropey considering it's supposed to be for use in emergencies. But I got the fire exit open where it turns out I actually have quite a large backyard at the office. <laughs> I didn't know. I had Ben with me, so Ben was loving it. Ben got to go out. He got to have a pee. Uh, we've got this really big out outdoors area, which opens more filming opportunities. So that makes me really happy. So I then realized the large bin outside is locked with a special triangular lock. Uh, and it was dark because it was like six o'clock and it's winter. So it was, it was really dark outside. 
Uh, so I went and got, in my logic, I was excited. I'd found where you put all the rubbish. And at, the, at this point, it was all inside the office, right? In a corner with, with uh, like bags of it and boxes. So I went and got a spanner and jimmied the lock <laughs> to get into the big bin. And then I had me and the kids bring all the rubbish outside and throw all the rubbish into the bin. Well, the lock must belong to the building, right? That, that was my logic behind it. The <laughs> So I jimmied the lock. I'm not a moron. It was the building fucking bins. Uh, and it was sealed off and it said no unauthorized tipping. Obviously, the locals have always been trying to throw rubbish in there. So I loaded up the bin and then I locked it back up again. I sealed it back up again. I didn't break the lock. I just, I opened it without using a key, technically. So I locked it again without using a key. Um, so I thought nothing of it. And I was actually really happy that there's no rubbish. Uh, then, though, we did get an email <laughs> that apparently <laughs> that is a rented bin for downstairs. And we're not allowed to use it. And we had filled it completely. And they were then unable to use it uh, at all. And they were also really curious how it had been locked and unlocked, un unlocked and then locked again without having the key. Assuming, of course, it was us who'd filled the bin. Um, now, they were very polite about it. And they said, can you just get rid of all that rubbish? Because we actually need that for our jobs and our business. So can you deal with it? Uh, now, we did politely reply that, yes, of course, no problem. We weren't aware of that. We'll hire our own bin. It's fine. It's not a big deal. But I did have to spend a good hour last night sifting through a bin in the dark, in the fucking cold, pulling out all the rubbish that I put in there the night before. And then, annoyingly, had to put all the rubbish back into our office. <laughs> Which fucking sucked. It really fucking sucked. <laughs> it fucking sucked. I must have looked like I was bin diving to the people walking past. Because I'm there with a spanner. Because I still didn't have the key. So I once again had to get my spanner out. And there were people walking past. And I'm outside. And I was jimmying the lock on the bins. And then stealing the rubbish out of the bin. Is what it must have appeared like. I was actually doing a kind thing. And taking all our rubbish out. Yeah, it's, it's my fault. It was nothing malicious. It wasn't a big deal. It was fine. It always makes you think locks are there for something. Yeah, to stop locals throwing their excess rubbish in there because our, I don't know how it is where you live, but where we live, we're under ludicrously strict uh, trash rules in the whole area. The whole area is, we're under crazy strict rules with what we do with our trash. We have to go to the local tip every week because we can't possibly with the family we can't possibly deal with the amount of space they give us to deal with our rubbish so we have to take it to the tip every single fucking week so there you go so it made sense there was a lock on it because people would absolutely be du dumping their excess stuff there you go <sighs> you I, are that local i'm not it was a, i thought it was just a building bin i thought the building came with its trash area that's not illogical well, now it's getting uh, it's getting started. We're getting our own bin. And I've got to put 14 locks on it, along with a poster of Tataru with a gun and a cigar saying, touch my bin, it's mine. And if you're our neighbors, don't come near our bin. Our bin. I'm going to be very protective over it. I'm going to put a flag on it and shit. It's going to be well good, right? <clears throat> you can all be fucking smug. You can all be fucking smug. But it was a totally normal thing to think. It was. It was. It was a normal thing to think, and it was fixed the next day, and it's fine. Nobody's angry. All good. Okay. You don't have the coin. The least you can do is come up with a believable excuse. 14 locks? <laughs> of course it was locked. Because it's very normal here. It's, it's perfectly normal here. That people who have too much rubbish, which is practically everybody who lives here, tries to dump their shit in somebody else's bin rather than having to drive to the tip and get rid of it themselves. That happens all the time. Fly tipping is now a huge problem in our area. Huge problem. You can't go down many of our country lanes without seeing people have fly tipped all their shit on the side of the road. How the fuck was I fly tipping? I put it in a bin. Literally shut the fuck up. I literally put it in a bin. 
and then took it out the next day and I'm paying for our own bin. I'm the good guy. I'm the good guy. All right, I'm the good guy. I'm not throwing my shit in the street. It didn't have a label on it. It was just a bin. Literally a bin in my compound. Right? Let's be clear. I didn't go out hunting a bin down. It was literally a bin in my compound. It was locked. Of course it's locked because all the bins around here are locked. That's not weird. That's really normal. Perfectly normal. Fuck you lot. Solved. Look, I'm not one to turn folk away. I'll give you your lumber if you do me a favor in return. I just finished taking stock of our supply and was about to do another round for good measure. I want you to do the county instead, and we'll see if your total matches mine. Oh, fuck. Now, some of the lumber's lying about the yard, but most of it is kept in the storehouse. But at least you can just ask Grithry for the number. Here, I'll leave you some writing materials so you can take notes. You want me to count the wood? Take stock of the supply of lumber at the shipyard. What you learn can be reviewed in your key items. Do I actually have to do this? Surely not manually, right? This is going to be a test. 11. Okay. What's your number, pal? You gotta give me a riddle. Huh? That can stop forever, thigh. Oh, last I counted, we had 28 planks in the storehouse. Alright, 39. Oh, fucking hell. 30. Alright. Nine were right, so we're on 30. Another load's just arrived. 30. Right, 43. One's damaged. 42. Alright then. Bring the good ones in, and we'll let the earth know as well. How many plants does that make now? You write those numbers down anyway, right? I'm sure you can work it out. Okay. Jot it down. Okay. What's next? What are we at? 42? Planks? Where's the planks at? On the other side? Planks! You're on the back? I'm outside of the circle. Any plankers? They're in above me? I mean, you're not even in the shut up game. Twenty-four. All right, sixty-six. All right, the answer's not going to be there, is it? Let's double check the math here. All right. 11. Got in hand. No, it says 24. It says 68 in the storehouse. 9 discarded. 13 delivered. 1 damaged. Wait, is that 68? And then minus those? Is that 68 in total? Wait, I'm confused now. This has made it worse. All right, it's 35 outside. I don't know if that means the 68. That number doesn't add up for me, though. Or is it then 68 story house, 9 discarded, 13 delivered, 1 damaged? All right, let's do both then. That's the, that's the solution here. So that would be 59. 
49, 46, 45, 45 gives us 69, all right, which again gives us 80. So it's either 80, or is it 68? 88, 92. Right, let's see. Right, so it's this one then. No? Fuck me. What was the other answer we had? 80, wasn't it? 80's not on the list. What did I miss? Right, so it's just the 68 then. So it's 68. Yeah, 92. I'm missing something here. What am I missing? 11 in stock. 35. So we must have to discard these then, right? Is that what I'm missing? The 59, yeah, 46, 45, 69, 80. It's the wording on this that's fucking me up here. It's only pain because the wording's really weird. When it means nine discarded, is that trying to take them away? And one damaged? Or does it want the total? <clears throat> yeah, I'm confused on this. I'm not sure what this what it wants to take away or not. Does it want me to take the delivered away or the discarded? Like one damage should come off, right? And the discarded one should come away. Well, I could work out all the different ones and then look for whichever one's the right answer, but I'm still not sure on the wording. Let's just do the different ones then. Let's see which one it is. I'm curious which ones it actually thinks is the right one. So it'll either be 59, 46, 45, which would be the 80 we had before. And 80 is not on the list, so it's not that. No. So, does it mean. Uh, 68, 9 discarded, 13 delivered. So maybe we keep the 13 in. Oh, it means 13 delivered. Does it mean added to that? Is that what it's trying to say? Fifty-eight. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That'll be 58 plus 68. One. So the 13 extra delivered. Thanks for your help, friend. Taking stock fare puts me to sleep, but it has to be done. As promised, I'll give you the lumber. What do you need it for, anyway? You're serious about the ladder? I'll be damned. If that's the case, please put us up with the work. We're shipwrights, we're not ships to build, only shacks. While it's a living, we all itch to do something greater. The fellow you say is in charge. You reckon you mind the likes of us barging in? No. <laughs> no. Wonderful. I'll round up the lads and lasses and we'll head over to the ladder, along with all the lumber you need. All right, ladder time.
I saw it on your face. Oh, we're all, it's all funny now. The wording of that was awful. Did not like. Pass. Hard pass. Absolute math all night at the moment with these kids. I'm going to give them that question to see what they get. <laughs> it's fine. Of course it's fine. It's me. It's okay. I can't do basic math. It's all good, guys. I'll accept it. The game is perfection. Ah. Oh, I'd returned. Were that able to procure the lumber? Well, well. Secure not only the material, but the eager cooperation of the shipwrights besides. Their expertise shall greatly avail our efforts. Master Chai's own efforts have not been without struggle, but he hath proven himself to be a determined soul. I doubt not but the work shall be completed ere long, and we may continue our way once more. Though it have been years in the making, at long last that the people stand united in defiance of the world's fate, their hopes spurring us ever onward towards journey's end. <clears throat> Whatever may await us, when thou takest those final steps, I pray that it shall be a smile upon your face. Up we go! Ah, but prematurely do I give myself to sentimental musings. Many more pressing concerns demand our attention, not the least of which is the matter of how we might reach the mountain, detached from the land as it is. For the present would appear matters here well in hand. As thou sh thy knees for a time. Thou will need every ounce of thy strength for the trials ahead. A time? I don't think so. I don't think I want that time. What is the fuck is going on up here? Yeah, I am not singing Lahi. Fuck off. No. Stop, Chris. People will believe that shit. And that ain't happening. Uh, what if you got it listed as? Put it on the camera, haven't you? Yeah, you're trying to be sneaky. I see it. I got you. I see you. Uh, I don't know how you take the 10k off, though. Is that a notepad or something? <laughs> Scammed. Yeah, exactly. I'm not singing fucking Lahi, dude. That guy's done it more than I could ever muster. His journey is one that does not need to be trodden on. <laughs> Sweeping the floors. Perfect. Perfect. Would you look at that? The citizens of Yulemore engaging in what can only be described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? No, oh, don't come over here. Do you know the most reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? You conquer them, crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one steel favored by Garlemald. But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones. A difficult feat to achieve. Uh, not exactly what you did with Alamigo, bro. But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment. Take it. No. I don't want it. Ah, the vibrant energy that fills the air when like-minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time. 
Fair brings a tear to the eye. What? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, oh. rest assured that if your heart could be broken, then so can mine. Oh, got feely feels. Poor little Asian man. Back when the world was whole, we had family, friends, loves. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. Bro, what? There was no Everywhere you go. Born of want or disparity, our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarok. Never was a city more magnificent. From the humblest streets to the highest spires, she fairly gleamed. Not that you would remember any of this. What does that mean? So full of shit, Salad. Never mind. <laughs> the point is, the world of old was a far better place than what we have now. Bring me the gun. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. Remember, you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal. A complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. Is that trying to say that like the warrior of light's oh, soul gets passed down? There was down? one thing I had meant to ask. How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cowl? Oh. What? Never? Even to you? How very interesting. I shall enjoy working out what it means. Until next time. Okay, I'm trying to plant these seeds of discord. I don't even want to know who the Exarch is anymore. Fuck you, Edgy. Don't even care. Don't even care. Not even oh, interested. I knew you could do it, dear. I never doubted you for a moment. Hey! We are talismenders, that's what we are. It's alive. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood. Knowing everyone hated me. But the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. Solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for Emmett Selk. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that. Especially not eternity. <clears throat> I'm not going to feel sorry for him. Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. 
The three of us have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come Gamba. crashing down, we can always <laughs> find someone else. That's the spirit. Come on, then. We rode the ladder too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. Watch the horizon grow, and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure. Hi, Chais. We ascended without a word. The silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. Oh. No one but me remembers that day. Come on. You know you want to. Come on, Artbit. Ghosts can't fly through things, eh? Bummer. Remember our stairs. journey and our end. Retread the path. Seek, and you may yet find. They really are working hard to give me feely feels for fucking edgy salad, man. Won't somebody think of the Asians? Won't somebody think of the Asians? The poor, poor Asian man. <sighs> We're finally here at the top rung. The others should arrive ere long. Alpha, no floor. Come here. There's something you need to see. What could this be about? You won't win. I'm not trying to win. There's no victory. I'm not going to feel sorry for him, though. Not feeling sorry for the Asians. Even if we turn out to be the baddies. Uh, we're still on the side of good. In our perspective. In our point of view. I'll put a gamber on that. I'll put 50 subs on that. They're not going to get me with Emmett. He's up to something. He's turning us into a bomb. He's literally turning us into a bomb. There's a village floor over to the northeast. So there is. But after two decades without the ladder in operation, I would not be surprised if such an isolated settlement had long since been abandoned. Or I. That was before I spent some leave here and proceed to head in our direction, all the while trying to remain unseen. Wherever that mysterious person is, they should still be out there. You want to take a look for? Uh. Why would they keep themselves unknown when they could shout down to us, right? Hello? Search your surroundings. Okay. Where are you? Trying to be sneaky. See them? Are they crawling? Can't zoom in anymore. Can't go left or right anymore. Where are they? Are they closer? Oh, he's there! <laughs> he was so close to us. Oh, he's running away. You've located the mysterious person. However, it seems he's likewise spotted you. You've gone back to the village. What a little sneaker!
for someone, right? And they were spying on us. Personally, I don't feel comfortable knowing, not knowing who they are. What do you say we investigate? I'm curious too, I must admit. I dare say we have a bit of time ere the others descend. It's settled then. Let's head to the village to see if it's indeed inhabited. Well, this is death to that village. No matter where we go, we bring death and destruction in our wake. Right? Let's just leave them alone. They clearly don't want anything to do with us. If they did, they would have made themselves known before now. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. All right, we're going. I'm going, I'm going. I'm making, I'm making way. Scream. Warcraft 3. <laughs> you guys are taking all the cool names, dudes. Big arm people up here. I guess it's at the peak. No, no, it's not. Ah, it's up on the hill. Come on! Go away, man. Good man. Good dude. You're a good dude, robot man. There is another one. I guess we're going there later. Ah, oh, this is a big area. Tomra. Okay. God, I haven't done one of these uh, fates for ages. It's a shame. I kind of enjoyed doing the fates. Some of them had little stories with them. That was nice. God, Chris is here. There's something going on inside that building. I spotted your name. I don't know what you're doing in there, but I don't like it. Food has been hung out to dry in the sun, and quite recently by your reckoning. Too right, you busted. That's just... There's a lot going on in there. You hear faint sounds from inside the building. However, the door refuses to budge. Makes sense. The cups are half empty or half full, depending on how you see things. Behind the counter are kettle bubbles steadily over the stove. Why are you guys hiding from me? I guess they're like uh, insulationists or something. What news, Floor? Were you able to find anything of note? Indeed. Well, there's no one to be seen, so it's plain that this village is anything but abandoned. The villagers are trying to conceal themselves. They were doing a rather poor job of it. If they don't wish to be seen, what are we to do? I say, aren't you the ones who saved my life? Your Tristel, the artist from Yulmore. Remembered. Ever since we parted ways, I'm worried for you. Bound for the city as you were, never did I imagine that we would meet again here of all places. You could say the very same thing about you, my friend. I'm glad to see you hail and whole, but tell me, what's this village? This, this here be Amnivy. Settlement made up of those who survived being exiled from Yulmore. 
as I wandered the hills. A chance to cross paths with an inhabitant of these parts. He took me through a secret tunnel which led to the top of Brightcliff. I've been here ever since. Life is hard, but we know a semblance of peace, mind. Well, we did at any rate. Until Mount Gold broke away from the earth, but just as suddenly the ladder started moving again. He feared whoever was coming up would threaten your lives. Aye, but I see now there's no cause for concern. Mighty wise for you to tell me what has brought you here. Arthur is a sin eater, and he's fled to Mount Gulk. This is a strange tale, but I have no reason to doubt your words. I owe you my life. If there's anything I can do to help, all you need to do is say the word. Your help would be most welcome, Tristel. To begin with, we request your people's permission to recognize the area. If we are to confront Vothry, we must find a way to reach Mount Gulk. <laughs> of course. I hardly need our permission to be here. I'll tell the others about you and yours. Now, there ain't much in offer way of hospitality, but our village is at your disposal. Please. Use it as you see fit in your quest. Free town! Yeah! Free town get! Cowboys can't be artists? Fucking judgmental. Or? Or what? It's another hapless soul that Alphano is safe from mortal danger, I see. Some things never change. At any rate, it seems that Brother has a mind to linger. Meanwhile, I have a mind for us to explore. Laura and I are going to scout out the area. We'll be back in a while. Oh. Very well, then. Just take care out there. Hey, excuse you. Red Dead? Mm. I couldn't get through the first few hours of Red Dead. <laughs> I wanted to. I really did. Backing up my saddle. I tried, I tried, I did try. I got accosted in a town, but no fault of my own, by the way. Path diverges. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. I'll go east if you'd be so kind as to head west. Can aid to meet at this foot of the mountain, taking notes of what we see along the way in a short while then. I like the star in the snow. I'm talking about Red Dead 2 here. I didn't play Red Dead 1. But I like the start and the snow and all that, but when it got to like the town and setting up the the little little area you had. Yeah. I quit in the tutorial. <laughs> High fire? Oh, what the fuck is high fire? What's that? I need to read the tooltip on this. Hey, I haven't had to cast that in open world. Ooh, let's have a look. Does fire damage to the post here one fire target and all limits around it. Grants astral fire three and removes some bolt ice. Grants enhanced flare effects. Uh it's cancelled fire. So it works the same, it's just a better spell. All good in my book. more damn hello give him venery whoa spooky okay we're fine we're fine Why don't we just unlock flying and go up there? Right, 
right? Oh, we build a fucking massive ladder. Like Fred Dibner style. If he could do it, he's an old man from Bolton. We could do it. You're a sight for sore eyes. The voice acting, okay. I don't know about you, but I bumped into quite a few Sin Eaters out there. Yeah, we are close to Sin Eater Central. You too, then. It seems the closer we get to Mount Gorg, the more of them there are. That's logic. Looks a lot bigger from here, doesn't it? If I were Vorthry, the first thing I'd do is surround myself with as many Sin Eaters as I could lay my hands on. And eat them. And judging by the number we've already faced, his lordship is of the same mind. This is going to be a tough climb. But first things first. We need to determine if climbing is even an option. The more I look, the less likely it seems. Hmm. Ishtola is right to be worried. But flying may be our only choice after all. We can go. There you are. Master Alphano was afeard you had met with some misfortune. We got drones? Furiolje. And you too, Exarch. Oh, what well, well, well! Can... Hello. I wish to observe the final struggle with my own eyes. I arrived at Bottom Run too late to accompany you, but I was in time to join Urianger and the others. Come. Let us see how this unfolds. I give that a zero. Seems flying is off the table. If we have learned that much, then the Machina have served their purpose. Ah, oh, so that's what they were for. Wasteful, but effective. We could have guessed that, right? We our foe will not be reached by land or air. We must needs withdraw to consider another course. Master Alphano waiteth for us at top run. Thither should we make our way. Well, they must have an etherite, right? So we've got to do the oldish Tola trick. We can't use the trolley. It's too dangerous to we can't just we just can't put the trolley in that kind of danger. Why if they scratch it? would be high treason. Absolutely correct. Okay, I need to see what these are. What are these? That's some Wicker Man shit. I'm out. How about some thoughts and prayers? Will that work? <laughs> I have my doubts. Oh God, is it on the other side of this mountain? It is, isn't it? Maybe. 590. Yeah, we're not getting that. 530. Ooh. We'll leave it, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Gotta be on the other side. 
some of the tr I was actually excited for the idea they might have gone a little bit wacky. I haven't seen anything as really... Am I forgetting something as silly as King Moodlemog? Since King Moodlemog. I haven't really seen them make a boss that's been that sort of, you know, just completely silly. I have yet to witness it. Yeah, there's the Hildebrand quest line, but that's not like the summoning of a primal. I mean, you do get to fight Greg, but... You know, in terms of like a big primal fight, that's also really sort of ridiculous. The Omega Raid was wacky, for sure. It wasn't silly silly, but it was fun. Like the train ride was really cool. Is that FF6 that was taken from? It was, right? Yeah, all right, we're playing that in February when the Pixel Remaster comes out. I'm curious to see how the train fits into their story. Or do they have to fight a train? I don't know. I'm not looking for answers as always, but I'm curious whether they have to fight a train. <laughs> Could use an etherite back here, team. Hey, we've got everybody. Good shit. Hmm. I didn't expect to see the chais here. Are the chais are here? I suppose it's well within their rights. At any rate, it's time to tackle our next obstacle. Finding a way to reach Mount Gorg. They still need to pull all our heads together. All right, thinking caps on. Do the Chai's know a way? I swear to God, if they mention the trolley. In short, there's no path, and the sky is thick with Vorthry's winged devils. We might consider Amaro, but without extensive training, we cannot hope to contend with the Eaters. Yulmor's airship fleet, meanwhile, consists solely of transport vessels ill-suited for battle. And without the expertise of one such as Sid, we are in no position to attempt a refit. We get the Exarch to bring Sid? Frustrating! That wretched mountain should jolly well come back down to us! True! Just now, drag now, the mountain Jarvis, down! We mustn't disturb these good people at their work. Ridden the ladder, seen the sights, it's past time we took our leave. The lady may well have the right of it. Mount Gorg will not soon come down to Earth, nor can we compel it to do so. But if the mountain will not come to the land, mayhap the land may be made to come to the mountain. What? In the form of a Talos. A Talos large enough to reach out and take the volcano in its grasp. We're gonna build a fuck off big robot? To build such a golem would be an onerous undertaking indeed. Yet the principle seemeth sound in itself. Like from Fallout? Boulder Dash! No one has ever made one even half that size. Leaving aside the small matter of logistics, which, by the way, would be no small matter, the design would be unimaginably complex. Though, I suppose, hmm, if its only function is to cling to the ruddy mountain, perhaps it needn't be. This is a well Solid stupid plan. Base, firmly rooted to the ground, sacrifice mobility to simplify the construction, reducing materials required. Can we go get Alexander? Can we warp Alexander here? Wait, 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 what am I thinking? We would still need a veritable army of people to do the work. Left to the crew that helped down below, it would take decades, if not a nice round century. So we need more hands. And what sort of things would these hands be required to do? Oh, uh... Work! Oh, uh, hard! Well, let's see. First, we need people to procure the stone for the chassis. The rock found in the mountain would suit our purposes well enough. It would be a simple task to quarry the stuff, but given the stupendous quantity required, we'd need all the help we can get. I mean, this would take years to build this, right? 
Are we really considering this plan? We have friends amongst the miners of Armoury. I will go and petition their aid. No, no, stop! While you do that, I'll stop. make for Maud Soup. I'm sure I'll be able to drum up some support. This then is a I terrible shall idea! To From fishers to carpenters, Yulmor is home to all manner of talented folk. I dare say their skills will avail us. Just build is a ladder! Is there anything else you need? Yeah, a fucking decade, about. This is some Star Trek Discovery shit. Well, yes, actually. Magic. <laughs> Lots of this stuff, as much as possible. To awaken a talus of this size would require an entire congregation of mages. Many among the Knights Blessed are gifted in the arcane arts. I will recruit them to our cause. The Fey folk too possess surpassing aptitude in magic. I'll oh, leave them. Forget that. Forget yeah, they're that. They're not wont to cooperate in the endeavors of men. Leastwise, not without making all manner of mischief. Forget that. You go deal with that. I'm not going. That being the case, I would instead call upon the people of the Crystarium, with thy permission, Exarch. We are at your disposal. As we can't Amarillo get the Scottish to do manual labor. They're only complaint. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you can call on not only the people of Yulmore and the Crystarium, but the Knights Blessed and the Maul, and even those miners? But that's just about everyone in the Valley Dorfrat. <laughs> Smack you Who with my five miles bar. People. And how did you come to have so many friends? Is there going to be like a Rocky montage of them building this robot in like before before sundown? They're just really nice people. No import. You expect me to believe that after you just promised me the help of the better part of the world? Oh, is the plan off now? So, as you can see, you will not want for bodies. I trust you will have your design ready in good time for their arrival. Norvrant is counting on you. I'm actually Air struggling to, to believe what's works. happening. How high off the ground is that volcano? Slash mountain area. We'll be back as soon as we can, and we'll bring the whole world with us. Like two. <laughs> I mean, it's several hundred feet, right, in the air. I take it we it's will several be hundred feet in the air. Though I am quite sure he has everything under control. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. <laughs> plan is to build a robot that's got to reach up to that. This is the plan. This is what we're going with. Okay. Okay. If this thing looks like one of them Transformers that is in anime, I forget the name of them now. Uh, the ones that Chris likes. You know the ones. It's got like rockets and shit on it. Gundams. Yeah, if it looks like a Gundam. <laughs> They're really pulling me out of the story with this. Uh, let's see how it goes. Have the design ready, she says. In good time, she says. She would stop what's fault. Skipped a bit. What? A village of your more and exiles? But those people have every reason to loathe the three says and like me. They couldn't possibly be willing to cooperate. This will never work. Never! I should have fixed that bloody lift. Never should have written it up here. Never should. Never should. Oh, 
dear darling appears to have lost the plot. But he has it in him, Floor. He's the cleverest man I know. He just wants for confidence sometimes. If you were to give him some words of encouragement, I'm sure he can give you your talos. A bit of advice I learned from his mother. He responds poorly to obvious praise. You'll need to find a way to stoke the fires of his motivation. Awaken his sense of daring. Choose words that will encourage Chuck these nuts. Okay. In order to succeed, you must lift his spirits sufficiently during the conversation. What is this? These nuts is plagued with self-doubt. Can't do it. No one can. A talus of that size? No one's even dreamed of it. Alpha no one struggles to collect firewood. True. He did, but he's such a capable lad, brimming with confidence. I suppose even the most capable among us have struggles to overcome. These nuts still harbors misgivings. Regardless of my own feelings, I can't do a damn thing without help from those villagers. And they're not badly likely to give it. Tristel's among them. You said so yourself. Lest you've forgotten, we essentially sent him to his death. Even if the others don't bear a personal grudge, he would never forgive us. Now, yeah, one step at a time, brother. One step at a time. I know, I know. Unless we take the first step, there can never be reconciliation. There's a chance for everyone to come together. Even if they hurt some stones at me. Perhaps it's worth trying to apologize. But what then? In the end, it's not even a question of forgiveness. Building such an enormous talos is impossible. And no amount of contrition will change that. And even if by some miracle the people of Amity were willing to let bygones be bygones, they think the plan is absurd. I think it's absurd. Well, liberal cast a strategy uh, many would call absurd. I don't know to go. No. Uh, let's go with this one. Top one. Oh, I can't argue with that logic. Enormous as the task is, it's simply a matter of finding a solution to a practical problem. From that perspective, it's not entirely unrealistic. Be realistic or no, there's no guarantee of success. There are risks to consider should the venture fail. Aye. Imagine for a moment that we'll fail to reach Barthry and only succeed in provoking him. In his fury, he may well unleash his hordes of eaters and will lead to the horrible end. I mean, I have to say this. I've thought of that, I assure you, but I'm afraid Talos can't contend with Sin Eaters. If they could, I would never have come to Yulmor. Nonetheless, I appreciate your earnest attempt to find a solution. It makes me wonder, what is it that drives you? Tell me, why did you throw yourself in the midst of such a grueling struggle? <laughs> Tech those I love, smoldering stir. Indeed. What else could compel us to face such dangers? I too have someone I wish to protect, with whom I want to live out my days in peace. Yay! We won. <laughs> Good job, everybody! Good job. Yes, yes. By the gods, I can't do this. I just need to have a little faith in myself. Ah. Right, let's head to Amity and speak with the villagers, the Tristel. My love, things are liable to become more dangerous. I want you to wait for me back in Yormor. No, wherever you go, I'm going too. Besides, you're not the only one who has to apologize. There's no telling what may happen out here. I don't know if I can keep you safe. Perhaps this is a bad idea after all. I don't think I have what it takes. Master Chai, 
That you are beset with doubts is proof that you can envision the task ahead. And that much man can envision, he can make reality. Thus did some old friends of mine once say. Mm, is that a line from Heaven's Ward? Oh, that's a clue and I don't remember. That's a clue, I know it is. And I can't remember. Son of a bitch. I totally don't remember. It's clearly Emmerich's and Lydia's child. That's what it is. Even should it be a feat fit for the divine, if someone had been done before, it most assuredly can be done again by our own hands. It's a little idealistic, don't you think? <laughs> perhaps, Master Chai, perhaps. What is man if not an idealistic creature? It's not an easy thing to achieve one's dreams. My friends can attest to that. Countless times did they meet with frustration in the course of their endeavors. None would have been none would have found fault with them had they given up. Yet they never did. One step after the next, they forged on towards their goals. For their determination, they accomplished numerous feats that may believe lay many believe lay beyond the reach of mankind. Like them, you are a man of science. Amidst your doubts, surely there is a spark of desire. Desire to make the impossible possible. What I said to him was better. Come, darling. Like the old days, I would be the first to see your Talos. And you shall be, my dear. I have none other than my side when my greatest masterpiece awakens. Right then, the Amity. I mean, the staging alone for creating this robot would take a year, if not two, right? The staging alone. I'm glad my words struck a chord, shall we? The only way I'm accepting this is if there is a proper Rocky montage. And by the end of it, Alfie's got a beard. Rianje's dead of old age. Creep me out, Zoe. It creep me out. I don't like it. <sighs> It'll take 28 days of diligent farming. Yeah. Yeah. 28 days of diligent farming. <laughs> Chill, it'll be fine. You know what would be a better idea? I go out and I murder all of these and we weld them together. These are broken anyway, right? At least be a start. No, oh, it's our cowboy friend. Oh, they're not going to give him a voice and ruin the dream, are they? Howdy there. You have every right to be angry with us. Please listen to what I have to say. I am tasked with delivering these people to Mount Gulk by means of a Talos of heretofore unseen proportions. However, I cannot do this without the cooperation of those with intimate knowledge of this land. That is you and your fellow villagers. Cooperation. After you ignored my desperate pleas and cast me out, you have the gall to come here and ask my cooperation. You have your right to be upset. Arthur's not the only one to blame for your suffering. We are. We are free citizens without a care in the world, indifferent to the hardship of others. We didn't know what would become of you, and frankly, we didn't care. But we know now that what you did, the full many, was wrong. Terribly wrong. No words will suffice to make amends, but I want you to know that we are deeply sorry. The 
It's a mighty fine story you tell there. I'm not sure how I feel about it, mister. Should I forgive you? Hate you? Perhaps it's not even my place to judge. That's God's work. After all, I sought a place in your city. I wanted to be you once. One thing is clear to me. All of that is in the past now. Tumbleweeds across the prairie. And we mustn't let past wrongs stand in the way of a brighter future. So, I'll cooperate with you, mister. Take our friends to Mount Gulg. You have my word. I set to work on the design at once. But at no time, nothing to show the others when they return with help. A fucking crayon picture of a robot with just like a scale next to it that says 10 miles. <laughs> this is what we're making. All right, everybody clear? Make no mistake. This venture is unprecedented in the history of Talos. Make the history of all mankind. But rest assured, this genius of Daedalus Stoneworks will deliver. <laughs> okay. What you're doing right now, getting all these people together and inspiring these nuts, that's what Tataru does back at home all the time. No. That's what I do all the time back home. And the rest of the Scions. Tataru is outside having a cigarette. Okay? Ah, Wicked White! Is there a problem? You see, uh, I've been promised... Uh, I've been promised people to procure the stone as well as imbue magic. When I was put on the spot earlier, I thought that was all we required. But I forgot about the fact that we need 684,322 tons of iron. Hmm... That's right, the heart. I'm pleased to see you have some familiarity with Talos. While I work on the design, I'd be much obliged if you could see to procuring the ore, which is the fashion of heart. A heart suitable to bring to life a Talos that shall embrace the very firmament. So we need a big heart. <clears throat> Meet the... What in the fuck is that? You seek material, man, for the Talos heart? I know people who might be able to assist. They're the Thals, Dwarven family that have long mined this land. No one knows this bounty as well as they do. Sure, if you explain your situation, you're sure to be willing to cooperate. Indeed, it was one of them that showed me the secret tunnels to the top of the cliff. You'll find the Thals of that village to the northeast of Pace, a place called Tombra. When you arrive, seek an audience with Chief Zamon. Do not forget to greet him with a howdy. Howdy. Permit me to join you, Flo. I would keep my joints limber and mayhap I can provide some manner of assistance. I'll leave the heart to you two then. The variety of ore doesn't matter as so long as it's rich with ether. I'll aim to have my design complete by your return. So we have to say lally ho, do we? Lally ho. We need to go east at some point. Fuck it. We're going. Is it the last one I have to get? Checking. It is. Okay. Is this a cave? Maybe it's in there. There's a village to the right as well. My eggs. We're getting close. B. 
big old robot. Mm hmm. Don't we have rocket launchers? Oh, some sort of propelled device. Mm, this is for the story. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. For the story. I know it is. I'm seeing gold monsters in there. Golgi boys. <laughs> yeah, I saw something called the Golg things. Gold. Oh, these are called Golg news, actually. Maybe they're just the named after the mountain, I guess. Hmm. What is this? It stands out rather dramatically from the rest of the light effects. I'd like to think it's just the light, but it looks really different. We'll find out when we're up there. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You got no floating mountains where you live? I still can't get over what we're doing. I'm actually struggling to even believe it. <laughs> but okay. <clears throat> I need a big old heart. Ah, sweet etherite. Yummy. Oh, there's a statue. Here I come! Savior of the world! Make way! What? I haven't... Busy. Don't draw your weapons. Yeah, immigration. Immigration. So this is Tomra. Seldom do we see the dwarven folk of the Crystarium. Now be in the presence of so many. I shall enjoy not having to crane my neck for a change. thing all oh, right is that gonna be an emo i unlock not bad not bad but there's room for improvement any roads i have reserved common courtesy how are you and what are you doing here at the recommendation of the denizens of amity we have come to seek the aid of the thrall family we may speak with chief zamok why yes you may i'm zamok and i bid you welcome to tomra Folk of Amity who sent you here. You must have quite a tale to tell. Come, let's hear it. Story time.
Well, well. There I thought those below had no fight left in them. Having said that, it's not like we know how to deal with the floating volcano, and all them sin eaters neither. If you're serious about restoring peace to these parts, I will gladly lend you a hand. I mean, these are basically Lalafels, right? I can't trust them. However, the kind of ore you seek is precious to us too. If I let you have it for only you to bungle things up and squander it, like no amount of veil will wash away my chagrin. First, I need to make sure you're worthy by means of a trial. I, a trial most tricksy, passed down through the line of the thrall. What is this trial? <laughs> Come with me and I'll tell you all. Sinister little Lalafell. Don't like. Don't like. Jesus Christ! Get away from me! <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you so protective over these Lali? <laughs> Get away from me! I don't like it. <laughs> Your lally hoeing is too much. <laughs> oh God, you've all got the mugs? Holy shit. Oh, that's too spooky. Okay. All right, you've all got them. All right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> rude, rude. <laughs> Listen well. As you know, we're a mining folk, and the mining life danger is a constant companion. So when we come of age, each of us must prove our readiness to take the mines. This we do by undertaking a trial, which tests the three traits all good miners can't do without. Discernment, diligence, dexterity. We call it 3D Mine Runner. This is gonna be like a mobile game? I look upon my helm, mark its features well. You'll be given a slingshot, which you must use to shoot dwarves as where helms are different. <laughs> I've already made the necessary arrangements. When you're ready to take the trial, report to the observer nearby. Best of luck to you. Okay. What does any of that have to do with mining, though? Right? Dead shot! Lolly ho! You must be the challenger the chief mentioned. I'll show you to the roots of at once. As I'm sure you've been told, 3D mine runner, you'll use the slingshot to shoot them as where the wrong help. Let's begin with a spot of practice, eh? Search for the dwarf wearing the wrong type of helmet. You may move the camera, okay. Am I at a time limit? Where are they? I thought this was going to be like a shooting game. What the fuck? Locate the dwarf right there. Where are they? Alright. Oh, they pop out. Okay. I think it's that one. That looked like the wrong helm to me. Okay. I thought it was going to be like uh, Air Force One. Aye, that's the way. Next time, it's the trial for truth. Let me know when you're ready, sir. Let's go. Looks kind of right. Right. Got you, you little fucker. Well done, a fine show of discernment and dexterity. Is it always just the red one? Well done, well done. We're a long back to the chief now. Gotta be putting an end to all the strangers of late. Was that it? Was that the truck? What the fuck was that? 
What's going on? Game what? Please step back. What are you guys doing? Oh, it's a Lala house. Wait, they have their own little house? What? You fucking idiots. Lala's only. Absolute maniacs. That was some impressive shooting, lass. Consider me satisfied. Alright, it's just plain you did not come this far without luck alone. So I might place my faith in you and help you find the ore you seek. Okay, that was easy enough to pass. A digging we go! All right, deep we go. You know that Calusia is rich in sulfur. Well, it is. We've been mining the stuff since ancient times. And every so often, the selfsame veins yield what's called earth seed, a rare ore steeped in magic. Time was we used to refine earth seed for this and that, but the technique's been lost. The stuff's still out there to be had, though, provided you know where to look. And no place is surer than Durga's tool. Problem is, the site's occupied by our age-old rivals, the Gogs. Greedy sods claim the place is theirs. I refuse to let any other bugger near. Oh, there was never a more odious lot than them Gogs. I could go on forever about those hornless horses, but then we'd be here forever, and that won't get us nowhere. What it boils down to is this. You want the Earth Seed, you've got to deal with the Gogs. Reckon you're up to the challenge. We have dealt with far worse. I'm sure we can find a way to obtain what we need. Yeah, I feel like we're walking into some sort of little civil war. That's the spirit. To help you find your way, I'll have one of ours go with you. I'll do it. I'll go with him. You, Kurt. I couldn't help overhearing. And all the eaters had flocked to Mount Gulk. I don't know why. I think they're the last light wardens hiding up there. The fate of Kalusia, no. The world hangs in the balance. If I can be of some help, then I want to do my part. Your zeal is commendable, lad. But it isn't so simple. This is Korra. Young as he is, he's one of the village's finest miners. The lad's got an uncanny sense of where to dig, and he's aiming with a pickaxe as true as any dwarf's. But put him in the thick of a battle, and he'll fucking shit himself. If he all he needed to do was dig, he'd be a dwarf. But he's liable to become a sin eater's breakfast before he can manage a swing. It's true. I'm hopeless in a fight. But I still want to try. Please. Please, let me come. Uh, I'll take care of you. Thank you. I'll do my best to try and not be a burden. You want to take Kara? Far be it from me to stop you. Keep him safe though, will you? We must assuredly encounter Sinitas along the way. Though, with you in our company, there will be more a spectacle than a concern. All right. Team up with Carrot. We're good. He's just going to prove himself as Carrot. Durga's tool lies in a cave to the east. Ready when you are. Ooh. Is this the cave we were in before? Mayhaps. We'll keep to the road and head east. I'm in your hands. Since you have a fair distance to cover, be on your guard for Sin Eaters. Speak of the devils. Floor of the left is yours. Alright, let's see your DPS, pal! Mate, use a coolie! Or what? You sure you don't need no help, mate? Alright, help you a little bit. No problem. No problem. All right, pal.
You ever thought of re-rolling, pal? Got all out of that, mate. <laughs> Major, you know that Flora is a great hero in the land when she kills. Some would say the greatest. Really? You must have stories to tell, Flora. I want to see his logs. He seems pretty garbunzo. This is a long ass way to go if it's the cave we were at before. He's a shitter. <laughs> the Exarch's a shitter, never forget. Our boy's a shitter. Won't be all that bad, I'm sure. Can we help our boy? No? I think he can die. Maybe, right? Oh, he's getting heals. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He's getting heals. It's all right. The Exarch's covering him. I can't get aggro off him, though. Bit of a beast, that lad. Bit of a beast, that little dwarf. He tanks, he heals, he DPSs. Is the Crystal Exarch. It's Onwa. I'm sure of it now. Onwa. I've already got one going. No gamba, no gamba. <laughs> Double gamba. <laughs> then have two bets. No, 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 no more gambling for me. One bet is enough at a time, okay? I don't want to rub my luck. Push my luck, I should say. Oh, crap. He's nearly dead. Come on, guys. Die for me. There you go. Now you can help us, right? Right, little fella? We're going powered flare still. Nice. Yeah, forgive them, Flatter. They've all got really cool names. All these fellas. Yeah, Carrot's not even helping us in the slightest. It'll be fine. Oh, the Exarch was actually putting heals out. What a guy. It has been nice having a whole expansion without Tatsuri, though. It's been a breath of fresh air. I don't have that dreaded fear that she could pop up at any moment. To be fair, her not being in a part of the situation has improved her stock value. I like, genuinely. AoE. Show me the AoE, baby. Good job. Ha <laughs> ha! 
DPS, DPS. You're building this Talos is Warcraft 3. I'm, I don't know what happens next with the building of this robot. I'm excited to see it. I mean, we have to build it underneath the mountain, right? Are they just going to let us build it without sending an attack? There's got to be a lot of people and a lot of construction going on. So are they just going to stand there and let us build this fuck off big robot? Just as we're about to get there. One last push then, shall we, Floor? Get moogled. Right, can you guys gather up? Perfect, perfect. You come a bit closer. You don't need to heal me, dude. Nothing happened. There it is. Oh, that's juicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have all the aggro. Perfect. You just heal me. I'll kill everything. I'm not moving. Heal me. Heal me, dude. Woohoo. One heal. Hello. I don't even want to kill them. Fair enough. There we go. Come on. One of these. I'll passively kill all the other ones. What now? Come on, man. Get your head and your ass wide together, will you? Move, move, move. Carrot, man. There you go. I'll get the aggro. It's fine. It's fine. Exar carry? How dare you? Actually, how dare you? Actually rude. What has he even done? You see who's tanking this? See who's facing it away from the raid group? Protector of the realm. Oh shit. I'm stunned. Wait, 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 wait. Don't let my deep buffs fall off. Thanks, Ark! I cannot believe that literally ran out the second my ley lines ran out. Like, screw you, game, honestly. That literally waited until my ley lines ran out and then released me. Low. It's all good. It's all good. No problem. 
No problem. You know, interrupting spell cast is kind of cheap. me again. Don't. Good job. Good job. We're straight toxic? No way. We're alive. We're alive. Let's hurry inside before the singing is cool. Why is this wall you've built? Right. Follow me, please. I'll take you to Durga's tool where the Pusurus Sulfur in the Land may be found. Nothing. I'm having a pee. You're being rude at this point, man. Being rude. I'll build a robot. Approaching something mega here or what? I don't see why all this is happening unless we're approaching something mega. I'm going in. Get out of the way. Get out of my way, you stupid tanks. Oh, they're rolling after me. <laughs> oh, God, Ross is here. Oh, shit. Okay, that doesn't bode well. Oh, no. Uh, there's a thing in here, isn't it? Northwards. It's a mighty big area. the terrain and <laughs> stench or any indication we are at the tool ah there people live here in the sulfur the cocks with their ugly unkempt beards they realize we're here they'll come after us best to take them down first Be not so hasty, Carrot. The animosity between your two clans notwithstanding, I would not resort to violence unless necessary. I will use an enchantment to render you invisible. We will not fool Sin Eaters, but it will suffice to hide you from the eyes of men. Why are others concealed? You think you could find a Earthseed? Ah, 
I'll dig up the choicest stuff there is. We will be much obliged. Without further ado, then. Huh? I can see straight through me. Right. A digging we will go. Let's just not be idle either. Though Carrot cannot be seen, he may still be heard. I would aid him by removing some few dogs from the field to that end. Dream powder, as you may recall. We used it to rescue mission at Laxon Loft. Is there no more too? I remember. You want a Welsh accent? Alright. Truly. It seems our alchemist got a little carried away with the latest batch. But it has been useful in our endeavours then. I have no cause to complain. Now then, I shall make you invisible as well, that you might steal close to the dwarves and get them a dose of dream powder. Even should it fail to put them to sleep outright, it should render them drowsy enough to seek their beds. Say the word and I will cast the enchantment. Let me get into character for Welsh then. Let me for you. My name's Daffid. Go across the hills. Perfect. Ready to begin? Very good. Should the enchantment fade before you finish tending to all the dwarves, return to me and I will cast it anew. North Wales? Wales is literally the size of a village and you've divided it into like north, south, east and west. Do I sound like that? I mean, to be honest, I thought you were here. Oh, boy. I can barely keep my eyes open. Time to call it a day. Drowsy. Not safe to work when drowsy. Better get some rest. Perfect. Oh, this one looks uh looks like it speaks Welsh. <laughs> Got puppety ping! Perfect. Let's be clear, this is a language where the word poppity ping is a microwave. Let's just let's just get our standing here. <laughs> All the dwarves have taken their leave. Good work, my friend. We have done all that we can. Let us await Carrot's return. You think I'm lying? I'm not. I'm not lying. I'm back. This is the purest stuff there is. Pure white sands. Think it's enough or shall I go dig up some more? I dare say it'll suffice for our purposes. Have our gratitude, Carrot. Let us carry this back to... Oh? Oh, the STD spreading. You all right? W worry not, I shall be fine. Long as I've been away from the Crystarium, a little weakness is to be expected. I may have also also exerted myself in the moment. I have to have this rare opportunity yet be unable to enjoy it to the full. Who goes there? Ugh, that's the Glark, Chief of the Gogs. The one of the falls. 
I see. Words was our miners were coming back drowsy, one after the next. I immediately suspected foul play. I can't. <laughs> I'm watching a fight here, but Thor scum skulking about. It's a spineless act befitting your limp beards. What? I won't stand for that insult. Our beards are soft and luscious and smell like freshly tapped ale. Gog beards are dry and crusty and smell like a devil's dick. Get a whelp. Better a hobgoblin's no hairs than feeble, floppy things you Thals have hanging from your faces. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a beard off. Like oil and water, this is not like to end of its own accord. Lord, do you perchance have some dream powder left? Uh, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Worry not, my friend. Something tells me I have ample opportunity later to witness their bickering. Now, however, we should be on our way. You can't just drug people. What? Oh, swimming. Give me carrot, but we need you to be calm as well. Sorry, I just. When it comes to them filthy gogs, I can't help but see red. You needn't apologize, my friend. You're here on our accounts, and we have naught but gratitude for you. Now that we have what we came for, however, it's time to take our leave. Talos awaits his heart. <laughs> Spit on them. <laughs> With their crusty beards. Will you guys stop aiming tanks and floating frogs at me? Frog squad. You don't want to be the frog squad, all right? Away us. Away us quickly. Get us away from here. Well, my friend, must have enjoyed our time together. I think it best we split up. We might accomplish our task more swiftly. I shall see the Earth Seed safely in the hands of Chai News. While I'm thus employed, would you be so good as to deliver Carrot back to Tomra? My thanks, Floor. Brief though it was, twas an honor to go adventuring with you. I shall see you back in Amity. <laughs> Get away from me! Fucking frog squad. Now you pick a better squad than the frog squad. I'm warping. Peace. I'm out of here. I'm out. Don't like it. Conquistadora! Thank you very much for the pride, brother. Rainfall Ray, thank you for the five months as well. I'm up with salutes to the crawlers. I'm crawling back in my cave now. That's all it does. Shunrail, thank you very much. Masons, on a mission with 3,000 bits and not even a little message to go with it. Dude, thank you. That's crazy. Thank you very much. Wait, we got a gossipy dwarf. Hold. Ah. Pff. You're not even got an ether current, mate. Why would he even bother? Ah, this guy. Oh, scuff my elf. If it ain't that traveler we've been hearing about, and the elders have more than a few things to say. I'd best be giving you a proper welcome then, eh? Wallyo! Wallyo. That's what I like to see a Wallyo straight from the heart. I only wish my own boy would put a bit more effort into his lollies and his hoes. He's always busy fiddling with his damn automata. No time for swapping words with folk of flesh and blood. Every dwarf knows that a lalio gets a lalio. Oh, you're asking to become an outcast. A mother does worry, she does. And that's only the half of it. I know it's the stage all lads go through, but the little bugger won't stop jerking off. Oh, I've just had the most clever idea. You'll not listen to me or other villagers, but maybe, just maybe. Curiosity for a stranger will win over that solar attitude of his. Worth a try, don't you think? 
please. Befriend my son, Ronnie. Just get him used to giving a proper lalio. That's all I ask. And I tells you, he really is a marvel with Automata. Get them getting along, he might even show you a thing that he's built. Okay. Alright, let's check out this child. A poor dwarf who can't lalio. Alright, geese, run it. Look, got a visitor. Alright, you say hello. Ah, right, mate. Who's you then? What? You got something fucking say to me, mate? You looking at my beard, though? Lolly ho. Oh, no, you're green then, mate. Yeah, lolly ho it all over the place. Not think it sounds a bit shit. La la mumbo. All right, we're on it, lad. You can do better than that. Heads up, eyes front. No need to be shy. Not being shy, mate. I'm being fucking stoic. It's a smolder, you dumb bastard. Yes, yeah, Dave, you say so. Now run it. Everything else all right? He seems to be looking for something. No? Just means, like, fucking lost my armor, didn't I? Dropped it. You what, geese? <laughs> of all the irresponsible, careless, foolish things to be going doing. Well, it's out. It's been in the family for generations. It's a priceless heirloom. That one belonged to the Watsies family. Mark remember them. Lived down on Tip Street. Blacksmith a legend, he was. Well, what are you standing around for, boy? Find the hammer. We'll do what we can to help. Right. Well, you have a chat with some of the villagers for me and ask if they've seen Ronit's hammer. Just remember your dwarven manners. All will be well. You understand, my son? What do I think they're like under their helmets? They're Lalafels. Like, I'm convinced. They're just Lalafels. Literally just Lalafels. Uh, right, who am I talking to? All the Lalas went extinct, extinct after the Great Potato Famine of Norbran. There's only dwarves now. Is that canon, is it? No way to me, then. Lally Ho. Oh, that's a fine Lally Ho you've got there, lass. I like you. We're on it. Ah, the Sulky Sprout's lost old Watts Hammer, has he? Well, lucky for him, I believe you on Gentleman, Gentle Dwarf picked it up. It's time I was getting back to work then. Good day to you, stranger. That's uh, the Irish... Um, um, Scousers, you know? Them ones. There's too many quests here. I can't see where we're going. All right, we're going over here. None of you know Irish. Are you sure? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you talk, talking to me. Oh, what's this? A perfect lolly ho. You're no ordinary traveler, I see. The hammer, I, I, I picked it up. I, I reckoned I would hand it over to the elder for sake key. You, you, you say it belongs to Ronnie. He can be a touch shouty, that boy. Do you think you can take it back from, from him for me? That's my part done, then. Aw. Why didn't you take it straight away? There's only like 10 people in this village. You were nicking that. 100% that lad was nicking the hammer. 
where are we around here? Huh? What do you want now, mate? Why are you still even here? Wait, this is my armor? You nick my armor, mate? Oh, well, 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 well. Look what we got here then. See that, Ronnie? Get the right proper greeting and folk will be glad to share a bit of kindness. But the you got a thing or two to learn from Flory. You lectured me, mate. I knew where my ammo was the whole time. I lit it up, lad. Well, maybe, maybe. But if you're not such a bad sort, I'll just put the ammo. I'll just put. <laughs> I'll just put the ammo in a safe place. I'm meant to be a famous smithy myself someday. I'm not gonna lose it. I'll leave it to you then. I know my boy's not the easiest to get along with, Floor, but he can show you he's a friend like you. Don't need a friend. Don't need anyone, mate. We're not going to be friends, though. You understand that, mate? Don't need no help. You were always cheating you, mate, in PvP and that. Well, you can stand around a little longer if you want, mate. You can hang about. You know what I mean? We'll talk about stuff. Why are you so tall, though? Why do you look like a banana? Right? Why are you all yellow? Why's that? Is that because you're not a dwarf or what? What do you want to do, then? Go go play some pool. Go play some pool. Nope. Bye. Look, he's got no friends. So I'm not dealing with him. <laughs> Lally ho. I'll dent my helm with a knocker's ass. We got ourselves a visitor, a stranger from a strange land. If I'm to welcome you properly to Tomra, then I'd best be teaching you our ways, eh? That's that's by paying respects to Ziggurat's statue. Hey, this isn't the quest I want. Go away, you. Oh, fuck's sake. No, I'll get that later. Get off me. Touching me. Lally ho. Glad you're back in one piece. How did you fare with the earth seat then? Not the all they needed. The exact's on his way to am needed with him now. Good to hear that young Carrot was of help. As it happens, a few others came forward while you were gone, saying they wanted to do their bit as well. Given that you're building a Talos, we'd reckon you'd be needing some mining tools, so we went and modified our spare pickaxes for use by bigger folk. Here, take these with you. Should be plenty to go around. From what our scouts tell me, there's a crowd gathered at Top Rung already. Go and see where everyone has a pickaxe to swing, eh? Alright, we've got all the help we need to build the giant robot. Have we done with the Ether Compass here now? We have. Super duper. Okay. Let's build an enormous robot. Uh, I should warn. All right, my team meeting is in half an hour. So if we're something gig is about to start, we should, you should let me know. Because we won't be able to finish it. <laughs> so we should just bear that in mind. Look, we have to work together. We have to work together. We have to stop right now. I was suspecting that now we've gathered all the parts. I want to return to the town, though. I want to return to the town, and then we'll head off to the free company house. I want, I just, I'm really curious. This whole robot thing has thrown me for a loop. I am really like, hmm. How is this going to go? Because that's big. Oh, well, uh, we'll leave it here so we know where to start tomorrow. It means I can get some breakfast. It's fine. All right. Who's here? Squatters are ready to go. Magnus is here. That's good. Did he bring the trolley? He brought a trolley. The whole squad is here. There it is. That's sinister to 
Look, Flo. People from all over have come to help us quarry stone. This isn't even all of them. As we speak, the volunteers Thancred and Ryan and Reen recruited are being escorted to the worksite. And by both Kristarim and Yulmur and soldiers, no less. So as you can see, we have plenty of hands. There's just one problem. We don't have enough tools to put in them. We've been desperately trying to round up more, but we haven't had much luck so far. I got a lot of pickaxes. Pickaxes from the dwarves. Trust you to have exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. Well, what are you waiting for? Go and hand that out to everyone so they can get to work. We're ready to do our bit, Floor. We just, uh, need the tools to do them with. Oh, no, this is the other guy, isn't it? Pickaxes. Loads of them. Now we may all need to work to our heart's content. Woohoo! Work! What is this? Oh, I don't have many talents. I do have a strong back. And what strength I have, I'll gladly use for the sake of peace. We got the ladder moving again, didn't we? We join hands. There's no Talos we can't build. I still haven't repaid you enough for saving me. I'm not sure I ever could. But that ain't gonna stop me trying. I'm with you to the end. <laughs> How come you lot look lively? Thumbs up, man. Thumbs up. We've come, Floor. In case you're wondering, good John is here too. Couldn't wait to start breaking rock stone, so he's gone on ahead. Ah, he could have at least left us a spare set of tools. Ah, wonderful. Now we can be about it. Quarrying isn't exactly my stock in trade, but this time, this time I feel as though my wife will be with me, guiding my hand. She won't be, though. She's dead. Oh, I'm teasing. Come on, man. We've had all the emotions today. Right then, let's be on our way. What are you still doing here, Thafi? I thought you'd brought your own tools. I did. I was just about to head off when I saw Jeric. Oh gods, oh gods, if this plan works and the giant Talos comes to life. Just imagine the size of the trolley it could push. Imagine a trolley of such majestic power. A 900 foot Talos and a 2,000 foot long trolley by shining light. <sighs> Are you still raving about that? How many times do I have to tell you it's not what the Talos is for? There the elves with the tracks even go. Heaven, Daffy. Heaven, Utopia. Seeing a trolley move along the lines like that will guide us to our purest light. Our souls cleansed. The tracks are a metaphor, Thaffy, don't you see? It's the journey of life itself the trolley guides us on. It's not a straight line. It bends and it twists, Thaffy. It changes with the tide and we... We have to hold on tight to our trolley so that it can show us the ending. The pure spectacle, the glimmer. Think of it, Daffy. Enough. We're going to work. If you're any more about trolleys from you, I'll have to push you. Put you pushing one yourself. Guys, I think that might be the last we hear of the trolley. Can we all just take a moment of silence?
In his memory. In his memory. Run, run! What up, Ronnie? Long time not see, Traveler. Are you waiting to be issued a pickaxe too? There you go, buddy. With our grand total of 15 pickaxes, we'll definitely have enough materials. Oh, he clearly would. And now neither are we. That's the short. We will put these to good use. Very work. Very hard indeed. Of course, one cannot work on an empty stomach, which is why I brought some tasty worms to share. Pass. Uh, as much as you'd all enjoy a treat, perhaps the worms are best saved for afterwards. Maybe Zodiac's a trolley. I mean, they worship it, right? Greetings, Flo. You may not remember me, but I'm one of the carers from the inn at Journey's Head. After Knight returned to Armorang, we noticed a change in our patients. Transformation had halted in every one of them. I can't express what it did to the mood of the place. We're still celebrating days later. And who should come along but Alize? She said that she sought the aid of those who believed in the Warrior of Darkness. We all answered her call right there and then. Of course, some few carriers had to remain behind. But as many of us came as we could be spared. Polrick's still alive, you know. Surprisingly. I do have great respect for the Warrior of Darkness. When we meet, I'll be sure to treat them with a nice plucked worm. All right, so we've got everybody doing the uh, manual labor. <clears throat> My thanks, Flo. With that, everyone is now equipped to work. I think I'll go and join the soldiers standing guard over the volunteers. It It'd be a shame if they felt prey to sin eaters after all the troubles we've gone to. <laughs> Look, guys, there's literally no point I can stop playing Shadowbringers where I'm not blue balling you, right? <laughs> I can't be helped. There's literally nothing I can do about it. There's no time for one more quest. I'm sorry, there's not. Right, now let's see this plan is a resounding success for the sake of all in Malvern. Okay. What I can tell you is Thursday, tomorrow, for those of you who don't know, um, Thursday, we have nothing on at all until the end of stream, until like five o'clock. Right? We have nothing going on tomorrow other than gaming. All right. I have to paint an office today. Look, I've got so much to do. I have to do the team meeting. I have to make a video. There's people who are YouTubers who don't, the YouTube fans who don't get to come to the stream. I've no idea if I even enjoyed the end of Stormblood. <laughs> right? <laughs> I have no idea if I, if I even enjoyed the end of Stormblood. And they're getting really pissed that they don't know. <laughs> they're like, what the fuck, man? The last video we got up about it was the Stormblood MSQ. Okay? <laughs> That's where we're at. Right, I'm not hosting anybody without checking this time in case they're AFK. Right, what's Noble doing? Is he blue balling you again? Is he in the fucking golden saucer? No, I did not. I no, I did not cry at the at the flashback. No, I had a grand old good time though, with like the dancing. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. The honeybee. Let me bring him. That that place was mwah. That place was mwah. Hang on. <laughs> Let me call him. Hold on. Monster. I know. No, I didn't cry when Varian died. Honestly, I have never cried at a video game. I know, Bull. You should unlock scripts if you haven't already. Just go as a fisherman Will he answer his phone on in stream? the foundation at 10, 10. Does he even have his phone near him? Uh, Mike is calling me on WhatsApp. This is, uh, is going to be interesting. Uh, it's hmm. Mike. I was just about to throw yes, you hello, uh, a host, but I, I wanted to make sure you weren't going to just fuck off to the gold saucer and blue ball everybody. Uh, I am going to go to the blue, the gold saucer in about uh, 20 minutes, and then I'm going to make sure okay, that's the cry to any reactions. All right, awesome. And, right, I'm uh, going to send some people over your way, so plan. give them a good time, yeah? Not going to cry. Yeah. 
Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So Chet is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rage right you now, now you and you're gonna like treat them so proper, you right? Do? You're gonna treat them real nice. Yeah. Uh, most likely, I'll just try my best to ignore them, if at all possible. Oh, I've just oh, been told that I need to get like, the glamour, glamour no and, and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, they'll be perfect. All right. All right. See you later, sweetie. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Bye. Yeah. All right. See you later, sweetie. All right. Mwah. Perfect. There we go. Easy. <sighs> Excellent. All right. <clears throat> I'll so, see you in the morning. Uh, Tomorrow morning, morning we build an enormous uh, robot of death that two. somehow will be able to Jezo reach a mountain. Driving as well. Welcome, welcome. I'm sure it'll be great and wondrous and all kinds of things. Uh, I mean, I'd rather you didn't laugh at those kind of scenes, but you do you. I mean, that's...